Hi there. <laughs> You're all probably thinking, oh my God, what's she doing? Um, so welcome to live stream. I am just fiddling with my settings because I feel rusty. Okay, so hi everybody. Back as well. Um, I am on very early today because I have quite a few bits that need doing this afternoon. So those of you that watch this back, this is a live stream with a live chat. You might want to open the live chat so you can see what we're saying and follow along. Um, and if you're here, open the live chat, pop it on live chat from top chat, and you should be good to go. Hey, Amanda. <laughs> Hi, I'm just fiddling with the settings. I feel as rusty as an old hinge at the moment. I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. Hi, Joe. Hold on. Let me make sure you're all good in your screens. Hey, April. <laughs> I love it. What's up, Sammy? <laughs> yes, I'm here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. We can see. We can see. So how are you guys? How are you all? We're here today and I've got a few things to show you as well. Obviously, I've been away a while. <clears throat> hey, I'm happy to see you too. Hi. Hi, Leanne. <laughs> yeah, a bit earlier today. Quite a lot earlier, actually. Hey, Victoria. So I'm not expecting everyone to come, which is fine because as I said, I am early for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Hi, you Beth. Um, I am here. Oh, which one? The um, Sorcerer's one, April. It's great. I've got her Grayscale books as well, which are gorgeous. Uh, yeah, it's lovely. It is lovely. I mean, she's different, isn't she? So just bear with me. Just bear with the shaking for a minute because i just got to lean over. And um, make sure everything within reach. That's, that's it. Okay, so what my plan is today is to show you a few bits. I've got these sent from um, Aaron Shepherd, which is his latest book. And I sent them for review and to just show you what they are. And I actually think these are the two best ones that he sent me so far. I love them. Um, so you've got The Sea King's Daughter and The Quackling. This is adorable. Hey! Hi, Rainbow. Have I turned all oh, focus off? Let me just make sure. And I bought some in the cell, some pit pens. Bear with me, everyone. Just give me two seconds. I'm not at the computer for two seconds. That's it, I'm back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> right at the beginning, I should have been a little bit more prepared. Hey, May. Hi, Susie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Robin. Hi, everyone. Um, oh, <clears throat> she's much better. She has been on a long course of antibiotics. Um, and oh my goodness, she wasn't she wasn't in a good place a couple of weeks ago. And I've had to watch her like a hawk, and I mean day and night. Um, to make sure that she hasn't bitten at what she's got like this mass um but yeah she's, she's doing much better the mass is still there it's not falling off yet but I'm thinking that it was an inflammation and not a um, tumor of any kind so we'll see hi everyone <laughs> yeah I am a bit earlier today so yeah as I was saying before I sorry I had to go off because I just realized that I didn't have my uh rings on which is really unusual for me um so i've bought a couple of more distress inks um which are i have to turn all off don't i it is off why is um oh, it's off apparently um so these are gorgeous you can get them in the small ones which is what i've had for a long time um so you can get them in these sizes which are a lot smaller <clears throat> or you can buy the big ink pads. Um, and the big ink pads are a lot larger, as you can see. Um, they're really, really nice. So pigmented. I absolutely love them. So I've bought quite a few. So I'll show you which ones I've got. 
Um, and I got these in the Prime Day sale, and I want to just swatch them out very quickly. So I bought Weathered Wood, which is like a grey blue. I don't know if you can see that. It's really, really nice. Um, I bought Spiced Marmalade. I've got Mustard Seed. I've got a few. <laughs> okay, see you later, Susie. Lots of love. Fired Brick. Um, Blueprint Sketch. Hickory smoke, which is like a grey black. It's more like a grey. Um, I bought some forest moss. So I use them, we've used them on our Bennett Klein as well. As I said, weathered wood. Um, old paper, which is more like a green. I'm not that I thought it'd be more like a um, I don't know if you can see it's more green. I thought it'd be like old paper, you'd think more of a beige. Wouldn't you? I'm just going to turn my lighting down a second. Um, and I want also, I've got so many things that I want to try and get in today and jam it into a couple of hours because I have to go out this afternoon. Um, so old paper, because all the things I couldn't do when Tilly was ill, I have to get done now. Um, Mermaid Lagoon and Spice. So I've got a little stack here and I've been buying them on, I'll put the link a bit later uh, when I come back. They're from a UK site called Crafty, I think Crafty Devil Paper or something, and they do pounds, I think, four twenty-five each, and um, they're on sale because some of them are like seven, eight pounds um, if you buy them either in store or on Amazon. So if you buy them on this site, you can get them for. They're just all, you know, same price. And then I've got these um, to try, which I've never tried before. I don't know if you've seen these. These are the Memento um, Fake Resistant Dye Inks. They're another ink, but they're a lot smaller. Hey, Bridget. <laughs> I've missed you all, believe me, so much. Um, but they're like a little teardrop, a dewdrop, like a raindrop. Um, but they are just as nice. So if you are wondering what these are like, they have got my huge thumbs up. I've tried them in a, I'll show you what I, um, I've done recently. Um, I tried them in something not that long ago and they are gorgeous and I, oh that's what I did it on my Kirby Roseanne's I must dig that out and show you uh, yeah go ahead April I can just prove it um, so it's like crafty paper devils I, you, sh you probably know what I'm on about I have to find the exact name um, but these are on Amazon and you can buy these in a pack of four which this one was it was a pack of four and you get lilac put is that posies um, Danube blue London fog and grape jelly and they are so true to what the color is on the actual ink um, so they're really really nice so if you want an alternative hi Kimmy <laughs> hi everyone Oh, I'm so happy to see you all so much. I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm back home. <laughs> um, so if you want an alternative and you're not quite sure because the distress inks can be, you know, a little bit more on the pricey side, a pack of four of these uh, small inks are around nine to ten pounds. A pack of these are six. So there's a four pounds difference and you get four and four, but they're obviously they're different colours and different inks and different ranges altogether. But if you prefer to stick with the Tim Holtz range, then go for it. But don't fear to sort of broaden your horizon a little bit and try other stuff. Hey, Benny. Um, so try them, give them a go, see what you think. I think they're a great alternative. And um, we need to do like a swatch day with ink. The colours are like. So I want to go through some of the pit pens and then gift it. I can't wait to use them very soon on the channel. I've not used them in my free time. The Derwent Light Fast. I've got them over there. I just want to show you the colours. So there are 28 colours that you can't get um, in the tins. And I got managed to get eight of them. Um, I got them off of so let me zoom oh my stomach I'm not hungry I promise you okay um so I've got these here the singles where you can see singles um are singles set so I've got the autumn red the apricot the golden sun the dark honey raisin autumn brown ivy and bordeaux now they are absolutely amazing hi Cynthia and hi anyone coming in a huge huge hello they're lovely Beth I'm them um so I've got eight of them on 
so free for two and that offer is till the end of July so if you want to grab some singles on cult pens end of July they have a three for two offer on all of singles then lovely Desiree Blesser sent a set of um the six the 36 set one which are here so you get sun yellow champagne they're the ones that were released earlier and Melody, God bless her heart, completely surprised me. These are things, guys, they're not in any wish list of mine. They were sent in complete surprise. Um, the 72 tin, which starts from here. Um, and these were completely a surprise. And I, I can't wait to do them on the channel. As I said, I've not used them in my free time. Everything I do is here with you, um, apart from my own colorings. But I've not used them yet. So I just swatched them out to show you the colors. So these are the colors that you get in the Derwent Light Fast. My comparison, if you're going to ask me what they're like, is more leaning towards luminance. Um, they're more like a luminance. They feel more like a luminance. They're a little bit softer than Lumi's uh, with some colours. So some colours I found a little bit softer, like the oak tones feel softer when they go down, as opposed to all the colder colours. Really bizarre kind of, like feel. They're, they're more leaning towards Lumi. They blend out really nice just from a swatch, but I can't give you a full review on them until we've used them. There's no point me reviewing them, but if I go by first fill, I've used these colours and they are gorgeous to use and they feel like a luminance to me. So we've got those. So thank you so much. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to use them. So in the sales yesterday and the day before, so it was Prime Day sales, right? I fall. Let me grab these because they were down from £25 to 10 each. Um, so I got that set of the pits and I bought this set too. Now, I'm not showing off, I'm just showing so we can see what the colours are like. Um, so we have ivory, light yellow glaze, power pink, apricot coral, pink madeleine, lilac, light green, light phalo green, ice blue, um, light indigo and cold grey in the pastel set. Then we've got black, sepia, um, chromium green opaque, leaf green, colbert green, I'm trying to see sky blue, colbert blue, purple violet, middle purple pink, I think that's scarlet red, let me see, um, that's deep scarlet red, orange glaze and cadmium yellow. So these two sets are available on Amazon as well. Now they were in the Prime Day sale, as I said, I got them both for like 20 quid, um, which is a bargain because usually they're each. So I thought I'm going to get them because what I did use them is this. Um, one second. I have to get everything so it doesn't topple on me. One moment. Right, what I have been using the pit pens on is mixing them in with pencil. Now, I did this in my free time. I'm going to turn the brightness down a bit. So I did this in my free time just to kind of show you the colours. Now, the pit pens always washes out slightly. Hold on. Let's turn the brightness down a little. Right. So what I wanted to do, I drew these feathers in myself here. I haven't finished the background entirely, but I drew all the feathers in at the sides. And pit pens can go in like a, <clears throat> it just brings out stuff. So they're kind of like a really nice way to sort of add dimension into things. Hey, Karen, and kind of just bring stuff out. Now, as I said, this is going to be really washed out because I've got all the lighting on. But I use pit pens a lot if I want to add detail and I'd abandoned them for so long I used to use them quite frequently so I thought you know I'm just going to grab them and if I don't use them it's not a big deal I've not paid a lot of money for them um because they were so super cheap so I thought that was a nice nice thing to um grab while I was in the sales yesterday and I'm so Desiree who's a very she's Good friend, good, good friend. Um, had sent the colour special effects three. Um, so we're going to do something from here with the um, insect imaginary. So in here, we've got this, which is the honeycomb. 
and we're going to do a string with these. They are very good for fine detail. So you've got one for bees, you've got one for honey, and you've got one for honeycomb. Now, I think this is the perfect picture. So when I bought this, I had a look straight away, and I saw that this was the perfect picture to match. So we've got to do this on a string. So we've got on this, you've got a palette which is like plate number one, and you've got the bee, and you've got the honeycomb, and then you've got the actual picture where you've got the dripping honey, you've got the bees, and you've got the honeycomb. And I thought, hey, Vicky, what a better way to do the honeycomb. So eventually it should look like this. I don't know if I'm going to get it exact, but we're going to have a go, or this one. I'm liking both. I think we could try both because you've got the plates at the side, and that's what they're good for. So if you have a look, you can really mimic what the book is telling you. And I thought it'd be a good thing to try, especially with the dripping here, or she's got the dripping honey. You can do that on there. You've got the bees, you can do this. I think it's such a good thing to be able to try if you really wanna have a go at practicing skills. Now, you don't have to, you can color for fun. You don't wanna, you know, have to, I don't know, try these things they're just there as prompts if you really want them so I thought it'd be a nice idea to have a go with this and we could do this on a stream in the not too distant future so quite you know in a little while we're going to try and fit because we've got so many things that we're supposed to be doing and things had to come to a head and um yeah so we're going to try and do this as soon as possible and uh, do the honeycomb do the bees and hey see haven't seen you in a long time. How are you? Um, and do the honeycomb. So I thought that would be a nice thing. So thank you so much. As I said, I just, it's, I'm rusty. I need to come back. <laughs> I'm rusty. I'm so rusty right now. Oh, and then I got this beautiful by Lozzy. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> um, this beautiful no uh, from Lozzy. And it just says, to Sammy, I was watching an old stream of yours in which you mentioned you love roses and peonies. So she thought she'd send this, but she just showed you that on the Harry Potter stream. Called the Tilly. I hope you like them. So thank you once again for shining so much happiness into life despite everything you have to deal with. You're a true inspiration and one of the loveliest people I've had the pleasure of knowing from Laura Morris Lozzy. I thought that was so beautiful. And she sent this as well when I had to put it together and I've been using it to put stuff in. It's like this holder. And I thought that was so cute because I love elephants and who doesn't, you know. So thank you so much. And these little paints we've got to try as well, Lozzy. So we'll get round to everything. I would have had this done a long time ago, but things have been a little bit on the um, slow side because of Miss Tilly. So these are Cosmic Swirl um, Shimmer watercolour paints that we're going to have to try one day. Um, these are so lovely and so thank you so much to everyone you are such shining stars I can't even believe it you know these are things that I didn't even know existed half of it and I've not even kept up hi thank you she's much better but I ask you to oh hi mum I ask you to please also send your thoughts and prayers out to our moderator Lou um whose little gizmo her dog has not been well on there going to have to make the really hard decision to have to put gizmo down uh, tomorrow so we love you lou we're thinking of you and i got this news of my upbeat because it's so sad i've met gizzy i've been down to lose a couple of times and gizzy is one of the gorgeous most loveliest sassiest dogs um so my thoughts are with lou so we all love you lou and we'll hope to see you back soon um, when you're feeling up it. So in honour of our little giz giz, um, I have got the mug that I got from Gizmo that Lou sent me <laughs> for my birthday when I was down there. So Melody, I said, I don't know if you were there, but hi Melody and thank you so much. I just showed the colours of the Derwent Light Fast. Thank you so much Karen try refreshing maybe it's that okay so we're going to get on to some coloring because <laughs> I want to color and then we'll do the pit pens should we do that so last time we were here we were doing this which seems like such an eternity ago um we were doing <clears throat> 
authentic line and I think it's nice to get back to some colouring and then we'll do some swatching and we'll we'll get I'm rusty. I'm rusty. You have to bear with me. I am so rusty right now. So let me just tighten you all up there. <laughs> I need to get back into it. <laughs> I'm like, can someone please give me some like guidance now? Because I feel like I've been away for an eternity. So how are you all? And that's including those of you watching this back. <laughs> Tell me how you are. So last time we were using Distress Inks and Prismacolors and a Posca, weren't we? And I said, I really want to finish this off because I think it deserves to be finished. I'm not leaving another whip. And then we've also got some swatching to do, but I really want to finish this. I think it deserves it. It doesn't deserve to be left. <laughs> I'm like, poor thing. I've been talking about my foxes for ages, Sam. My foxes. It has been an eternity, hasn't it? It really has. I feel so bad. Um, but life is first and I say that to everyone and it applies to myself and I need to remind myself sometimes it's okay to have a break it's fine <laughs> okay so we were looking at the hummingbird and the lily and I think the lily I'm going to do in like a buttercup and yellow so I'm going to have my prism color card out I know Lou we're all thinking of you and we love you so much she she's the one also don't forget Provides us with the cards and stuff. I love you, Lou. She's put so much work into the channel for the cards and uh, bless her. I just, um, my thoughts are with her so much. And her husband, her husband Kev, who I, I love pieces. He's the one that phoned um, to tell me. And I was just, oh, what a day, eh? So, yeah, we are here. We're here. So, we're going to get some Prisma colours out on the mix. And we have also got some distress inks. So I think I'm going to go for some jasmine. We're using Prismas. We're using Prismas. Hi, Tilly. Tilly's chattering away to you all. We're going to get some jasmine. As long as you can all see, okay? This is Prisma colours now. There we go. So how are you all? Please tell me. Are you all good? Are you all happy to be here? <laughs> That's amazing. I'm making sure that you're all still with me. <laughs> Don't leave me. <laughs> okay, so we've got Jasmine, which is PC1012, and I'm just going to go very lightly. Now, grayscale colouring, it's not as hard as you initially think. It's one of those things that actually guides you, and I was so daunted by it for so long. And also, our lovely Connie, CB, Connie, um, I was reading that her mum wasn't well in someone's stream, so Connie, I hope your mum is resting. And uh, you're okay. Yes, good. I like to hear. I like to hear that everyone's okay. Because I know that there's lots of stuff going on. I'm not going to mention it because it's not for the, it's not the time, not the place, not anything. I just don't want any part of any of that. That's not why we're here. We're here for the colouring. Um, just remember, you know, but it's sad and... As long as people are okay and they're protected, that is fine by me. So the elephant in the room will ignore. For those of you that know what I'm talking about, for those who watch this back, do not worry. I've not been around, <clears throat> which is just as well. Okay, so I'm going in with Jasmine, just over the entire thing very lightly. And... Uh, <laughs> Oh, wow. Was she to get married local to you? Have you got to travel? Hey, Melissa. Good to see you as well. Goodness me. Hi, everyone. Hi. And um, I know I'm early. I'm aware. <laughs> Thank you. I love them. They're so, so, so adorable. I'm going to turn the lighting up. So hopefully that's okay on your screens. Is that better or too bright? Take care, Leanne. I'm so happy that you're here. You give me time to get back into things and we'll be rocking and rolling with everything very shortly. <laughs> very shortly, I promise you. Just give me a bit of time. It just um, You don't realise once you've been away how, not difficult, but how out of practice you feel. Um, you feel like you've been in your own little sort of hut, in, if it makes sense, like in your own shell for a bit. And uh, you've got to come out of that and start talking to humans again. 
yes, it was. Hi, you cats. It was. It was. Um, we did it in a string back. We did it in pencils and distress inks. And uh, yeah, it was. Uh, we did a little bit of ink tents, didn't we? Oh, I love Cornwall. Melissa, it's stunning. The beaches in Cornwall. If you are not from the UK and you ever want to visit part of the West Country, when you come to the UK, Cornwall and Devon have the most gorgeous beaches. Okay, so I'm doing these like a buttercup yellow, um, but I am going to put some hints of goldenrod and stuff in here, but I'm just getting some colour down because it's good to get colour down and know where you're going. Just my colour and style. I've always put a base down. Now, these are buds, so I'm going to do those darker. There's no point in putting jasmine on the bottoms. I'm just going to go to the tops. So if you've got a dark, just my my way, if you've got a darker bottom, there's no point putting your lightest colour there. Oh, lovely. Oh, you used to live in Cornwall. April is so lovely. Oh, you're coming here, Mandy. Where are you going to be living? Uh, you don't have to tell me exactly, but you're going to be um in, like, the west, south, east. Where are you going in the country? Hey, that's okay. You go prepare for the day. <laughs> Hi, Marilyn. You live just over the bridge. There's so many nice things. In, in the UK, honestly, there's so many hidden little gems. The Jurassic Coast is gorgeous. If you want to go, you know, along the Jurassic Coast, it leads, doesn't it, from um, Lyme Regis down through um, Devon down to Cornwall. It's such a lovely coast. I've driven that. I used to drive all the time. I haven't got a car anymore. <laughs> I miss my freedom. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, I hope you like it here. It's absolutely roasting at the moment. So if you're coming soon, you might be coming in the winter. <laughs> you might regret it. <laughs> You'll be like, no. Why did I know? We're not too bad. <laughs> I promise you we're not too bad. <laughs> I make it sound worse than it is. It's because I'm a Brit and I want to live in the US. <laughs> I'm like, can I go somewhere? Somewhere pretty, somewhere that I can have a pool and sunshine but air conditioning <laughs> okay so I just wanted to go down with jasmine um so the next one I think I'm going to go in with yellow ochre let's deepen up some yellow a little bit so we want to keep some of that light area but I really want to go in with some yellow ochre so I'm going to find my card which seems to be amongst other things where it shouldn't be because mine I, I dropped my cards and I've put them in such a funny order um, so I've got to find it now. Um, where is it? Where is it? Don't hide from me. Don't hide. So I need yellow ochre. Ooh, would another yellow count? No, I'm going to go for yellow ochre if I can find it. Oh, it will be a huge adjustment if you're in South America. Uh, South Africa, sorry. I'm reading that wrong. Yeah, I, I like warm, but I like air conditioning as well. <laughs> so I can have a mixture. Hey, Ashley, how are you? <laughs> I'm such a, oh my gosh. I'm one of the, right, one thing you'll realise, I'm one of those Brits that does not stop moaning about the weather. It's never either too, <laughs> it's too hot. No, I'm not a summer girl here because of the humidity. If we didn't have humidity and we had um, air con, I would be good. Um, but I am such a moan when it comes to being like sticky and hot and having to have no air is just not not my cup of tea. OK, so we're going to go for yellow ochre. <laughs> yeah, I am as well. I don't stop. Uh, so we're going to go for 942. Now, when you're looking at your areas of where you want to go deep, go to where the grayscale is. So at the bottom of the petals, a slightly darker grayscale. So don't forget you've put your lighter base down, which is still there and it's your guide. You've not, um, you know, aimlessly done that. That's that's there for a reason. So just follow the line of grayscale very lightly with your Prismacolor. And as you're coming to like the lighter areas, fade your colour out. Because don't forget, with petals, they're quite delicate. When you look at them in the light, especially, they're like, go from a deep to a very delicate colour. So in the middle, you're going to come to a lighter colour again. 
Oh, okay. I'm not going to moan then, Barbara. <laughs> I'm not going to moan. Our oh, weather is not 110. Dear Lord, where are you? Hi, Faith. <laughs> so good to see you. I was watching your whips uh, stream in bits this morning. Um, your Joanna Basford. I try and skim over when I'm doing stuff in the morning. I stick it on. Your Joanna Basford one. I think you're doing Inky Ivy, aren't you? Yeah. And you had like some chimes. You always tell Amazon Alexa to put on nice relaxing music. So I hope you're good. It is. It is. We're supposed to have storms over the weekend, apparently. We'll see. Okay. So with me blabbering on, on lilies, you've also got this little sort of puckering in the in the um, petal, which is usually brown. So we're going to put that in after. We don't need to do that now. So all this light area you're going to come back in. We did um, jasmine. You can use even a lighter color like your cream. So we can use that. I'm going to be here Saturday, by the way. I'm going to be back on Saturday and I will have a longer stream Saturday. I just need to get myself out of the rusty toolbox and back into the shining chrome one. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a rusty toolbox at the moment. I've been away for so long. But yeah, thank you for your well wishes for Tilly. It was so it was so scary. She lost so much blood, bless her. So Tilly's my budgie for those of you that listen in the background. Um, she lost a lot of blood and it was scary and it was a daily thing. <clears throat> Chip Price that had an anal gland infection that he wouldn't stop fussing with. Um, but they're both doing really, really well. Touch wood so far, you know, knock, knock on wood, they're doing good. So thank you so much for everyone's well wishes for Tilly. It was much appreciated and heard. Let's put it that way. It was heard. Um She's back to her little sassy self at the moment. And now we're just waiting for that little mass that she's got to fall off. And once that's happened, um, then she should be back on the road to being absolutely normal. She's sitting at the window right now. Hi, Claire. And thank you. I've missed you all too. <laughs> that's it. Open wind times. They were so, so relaxing. She's quiet at the moment because she's watching the outside world. Um, she's at the window. She's sitting at the window. Because as you know, Tilly's free flight. Uh, she's not. She's got a cage that she goes into herself at night, but it's open all the time. And her cage is not a cage. It's a mansion. Let's put it that way. Okay, so you see how it's really starting going to come to life. And the hummingbirds are really colourful. So we're going to go for a colourful hummingbird. Quite a subtle background so that the foxes stand out. Because at the moment, they're the pinpoint. She's got a mansion, Melissa. It's a princess mansion, I can tell you. If I showed you what she's got, you'd all laugh. You'd be like, this girl's crazy. And I probably am, but I love them. Okay, so again, you're coming in. Um, so with the petals, just bring that yellow oak in to about halfway of your petal and fade out and that's kind of what we're going to do now with the darker buds because they are just buds they've not quite come out yet we're going to do a deep color here but we are going to bring some of the golden rod in as well so for now just sort of circular motions upwards i don't know if that's like showing really clearly but you can kind of like because it will just if, if i come too close it's focusing on the on the foxes naturally and not on the flowers. But as long as you can see the difference is overpowering. Okay, so we're going to come up. So if you're sticking with me to the end, we're going to finish this hopefully today. If not, we'll finish it, you know, by the next one. But we're going to, next stream should be a nice long one. We're going to get some things done. Um, We're going to swatch out the pit pens and um, what else? Oh, and those paints. Those are, what are they called? I'll tell you what they're called. Um, they are called the Cosmic Shimmer Colour Paints. Oh, my goodness. You can have little mini ones, all those squeaks. Those squeaks are so, so, so funny. Um, let me show you if I've got a picture. Hold on. Hold on, let me show you if I've got a picture. I forgot a picture of her mansion. That was me and her this morning. Let me just tell you. She's such a little... Look at her. She's funny. 
That was Miss Tilly this morning. Um, she loves kisses. Every morning she comes to you for a kiss. Uh, oh, it was Andrew's birthday the other day. Um, he was 36. Oh, and look, I had the most amazing news. So, you know, Mama too, Sharon, um, she passed away in April. Well, Vicky is my best friend of 28 years. This. Hi, Auntie Sam. And I was like, oh, my goodness. So I'm going to be Auntie Sam again in January. Look. I've got my own little tiny, I don't know, niece or nephew. We don't, I call him, my other ones are like her other two, her elder two. I like nieces and nephews to me anyway. <laughs> They're so cute. And then and an 11 now. Let me try and see if I've got a picture of her mansion. Sorry, can you bear with me? I've got it over there, but um, I don't want to lift you all up. If I've got a picture, I've got a picture. Yes, exciting. She's going to have another little baby. She hasn't had a baby in 10 years. Okay, so Buzz's home, if you were ever wondering what Buzz lives in, is this. Um, <laughs> so that's Buzz's home. He's got like this double mansion thing that I built where me and Dad, I did the staircase, Dad did, did everything else. So that's how it closes up. It's like a cupboard and the hedgehog lives in there. And then their cage is humongous, and I have to find the picture because I seem to be missing it. Oh, there it is. So this is the humongous cage. It is like a, seriously, um, it's so big. It's, I'll have to show you properly, but it's, it's huge. Right, that's how small she is in it. It's a mansion. And, uh, yeah, only the best. <laughs> hey, Shara. Only the best for them. You've got us treat them, right? They're your babies. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, that was exciting news. So I got that the other day. So the baby's due in, I think, the 24th of January, and it was conceived on my birthday. I was like, oh. <laughs> she, Melissa, she's, she's not even in it. She's out stretching her wings all day. Um, Right, I get this question a lot. So if you... With hedgehogs, the one thing of ownership that you have to remember is they are nocturnal. Um, so that means they are more or less asleep all day unless you get them out, which is unnatural for them to be awake in the day. They do come out, I'd say, in the evening. You give them food and drink. Make sure that you put their water in there. They eat cat biscuits. They eat live mealworms. Um, so if you're not funny about feeding those, then good. Um, they like wax worms although they're very fattening and hedgehogs do tend to pack weight on very quickly because naturally they're quite lazy animals that sleep all day <laughs> um I did Claire I'm gonna swatch them at the end uh, I've got two pit pen sets and um they're great but I've got these and another one okay so with their setups they need at least a four foot long home and they need um, fleece material because they like to sl sleep in something really warm. So fleece is ideal. Um, not anything with holes that they can get their little nails cut, uh, you know, caught in. And they also need a ceramic heater that is kept between the temperatures of 22 to 24 degrees at all times. So they have requirements. And the thing with that is that you really do have to make sure you keep on top of it. So have a spare ceramic bulb, have um, enough fleece material so that when you've got one lot washing, which is weekly, you do a spot clean every day, uh, you change them, you know. Um, they just love to nestle down. Ah, oh, thank you. Um, so, yeah, it's one of those things that it's really hard. If I wouldn't say they're a good family pet. And the reason why is because the kids want to get them out all day and they huff and huff and huff and they won't like it. Um, so I'd say they're not good family pets at all. They're best because they have to be on their own. Um, so they're definitely solitary animals. They're quite grumpy, naturally <laughs> grumpy, but they are so, so adorable. And they're not high maintenance that you've got them. Okay, so we're going to go to Cream, which is PC914. And we're going to go into all these light areas. But 
I must admit I was so blessed with Buzz because I hear so many stories of some people having hedgehogs that they can't even get near because they're so grumpy. Buzz isn't. Um, they're grumpy if you wake them up, but I am as well, so I'm not going to moan at him for that. Um, but the, he... Uh, he's just, he, I'm blessed with him. He's never bitten. He's always snuggled in. He loves his cuddles, loves mummy cuddles. He doesn't like a bath, but you can't bath them too often. So there's a lot of requirements to them. Um, so I always say it's, it's good to research. I researched for a year. Um, so it shows you how serious I was. I, I wouldn't jump into anything not knowing, you know, what I'm jumping into, if that makes sense. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I know I'm the same I'm like all right they're grumpy when they wake up that's me <laughs> I'm not a morning person I never will be <laughs> yeah no I don't blame him I'm just like are you okay in there <laughs> oh bless yeah that's how they are but they're gorgeous okay golden rod so golden rod as you know with the prisma colors is sort of going towards the orange note so we're going to come a little bit more at the top. So not too much. So you just put in a hint. And on the very bottom of the petal is probably where it's going to have the most pigment before the middle sort of has all the light. So you can just bring in some like lines. And if you look at a petal in the light, they're going to have like little veins. So we're just going to bring some of that down. Not too much. Um, so I'm just kind of looking constantly at what, you know, what is a bit more realistic okay so we're also going to come down again on the edge of the petal a little bit more of the golden rod and just bring up a little bit here <coughs> have you anyone been doing the hashtags over on instagram i've managed to do five or six this month because i've had the color in time with tilly okay so this petal is very light because it hasn't got much shade in so we're only going to put the golden rod at the very base of it and just lightly bring it up like that this part's going to have quite a heavy amount in we might even bring something a little bit darker after into that same with these because then the underneath and again you can see just bringing the golden rod up just fade like outwards and it just will look a bit more realistic yeah mum she got the um 72 if you didn't see because they put 15 percent off at checkout further to the discount on prime day Prime, there was two days prime, wasn't there? Derwent put a lot of their products on offer and they put the full set of Derwent ink tents and it was at 30, what was it, mum? 38 pounds, English pounds, which I've never seen them that low. That was an absolute steal. Okay, so just bring some veins up. Not much, just a little bit. And then again, the base. So what pictures are you all doing? Are you doing any hashtags this month? Are you doing any of the Hannah Carl's on pictures? I have one that I need to fill if anyone's interested um, in the jewellery box. Um, I'm just going to be, if anyone needs to extend the time, just let me know. I will. Um, <clears throat> so I love me Katrina's also not been well. So prayers out to Katrina. Um, so this was the page that she can't do in the jewellery box by Hannah Carlson. So if you know the product we're doing. Um, so we've got the jewellery box book. Um, and this is the page, which is page number 78, I think. Um, so if anyone wants to, let me know. But it's the 28th of July, so it's not too long. But I'll extend it till the 5th of August if need be. So... If anyone wants to get in touch with me, not anyone here in particular, if you don't want to do it, that's fine, because it is quite a tight deadline. But if anyone does, you watch this back, do let me know, and I will tell you, confirm if someone else has taken it, etc. Okay, so back to our picture. We've also got a bud there, which is, um, I didn't see that one. Oh, me too, Melissa. I've been enjoying them with the super tips I've been doing yeah <laughs> I know I love them I did um the one from up the guy from up in the sepia tones you know that one in there they're so relaxing aren't they 
so relaxing. I absolutely love them. They're one of those when you just want to pick something up and not particularly think of anything and you just want to put colour to paper and it's picked out for you. So it's great. Okay, so I'm going to pick in some of those. So it really does bring them out. <laughs> it could be a strill, May. We can have a strill. <laughs> we don't have to have a strill. We can have a strill. It was such a strill. <laughs> also correct, it was me. It, some... Um, Honor was saying that she was doing something by Daddy, but it wasn't, it was Sassy. Sassy's colouring. She put Daddy's. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. Ow, good book recommendation if you're into thrillers. I'm not sure if you've read this, Robin. It is um, The Passengers by John Mars. I just finished it yesterday. It was, it was about driver's cars, a thriller. Amazing. If you haven't read it, you like a thriller, pick up The Passengers by John Mars. It's amazing. Hi, everyone coming in. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Gary. Hi, all. <laughs> it was incredible. Hi, Karen, if I didn't say hello. Okay, so I'm just bringing in some colour. Okay. And I'm also going to bring in a little bit of the um, cadmium orange here if I can find my... It's amazing. Well, I enjoyed it immensely. And honest, at the very end of it, we were reading it at the same time, and uh, she's almost finished it now, and she's been loving it as well. It is such a good book. Um, it's just recently released. It's out on paperback or Kindles or Nooks if you're in the US. Um, it's out on all platforms now, and it's really relatively inexpensive because you can buy it on paperback. So, yeah, it's really good. Okay, so with a cadmium orange hue, I'm just going to go into um, the darkest areas of the buzz. So we've got to bring in some browns there, just for the like bits of the pollen. But I'm not bringing much of this in because I don't want it dark. And if you are a Stranger Things fan, the weekend it broke, did you binge watch Stranger Things season three? Please tell me you did, peoples. Oh, I'm obsessed. I've watched it three times. And please tell me your fans here. Tell me your fans of Stranger Things. <laughs> please tell me. I enjoyed it so much. Oh, I'm obsessed with that. Um, I am in Bennett Klein's um, Wild. The first one. So we're back to it because we did this and it feels like a millennia ago. A millennia. <laughs> okay, so we're doing the edges. And as you can see, just putting a hint of that cadmium orange hue can bring out just enough colour to make it pop but keep them a subtle yellow. You've got to, April, oh my God, did you, oh, it was the best thing. I'm not going to say anything, Melissa, promise you, because I, I know some people haven't watched it. It was the best, hi, you darling. Um, the best thing I have watched of that genre in my entire life, because I love the 80s vibes and stuff, but if you have not watched season three yet, but you love the others, you're going to absolutely, I think, love this season was the best for me. April, I, th I believe so. Hey, Melody, welcome back. Um, Darlene, I didn't see you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> if you've been there for so long, I'm like, oh. oh I love it. You're going to love it. It's. Oh, <laughs> I won't say any spoilers, but it's the best thing of its genre. Um, it, I'm trying to think of like how to categorise the genre, to be fair. I watched that. Um, I finished off. Oh, I'm watching Killing Eve. Gary, I think they're finishing up on the next season. They want to anyway. Um, just the usual premiere, Prisma Colour premiere. So this is um, PC 188, uh, 118, sorry. Um, 
just the normal what you get in the packs that everyone uses that's why I'm using them just to make sure that people um, can follow along so if you see it's just bought enough of it out to not I don't want them to sort of take away the, the foxes to me are the focal point but we're going to make this super bright so if you look at hummingbirds and um, we're going to bring in some browns in a minute if you look at hummingbirds they are gorgeous colors um, they usually got a lot of like teals and turquoises um, let, me let me show you and they've also got some pink like a pinky purple so let me show you what I'm gonna go by they've got a lot of blue in them so if you look at a hummingbird they've got like um like a, a blue and purples and they've got these like purple tones coming down they've got slight pink tint in the wings um and they've got a lot of like turquoise in the belly and like purples in their hair so they're quite they're quite colorful so we've got to make this guy stand out so for now i'm just going to grab myself some sienna brown and some dark umber to do the little bits of pollen and then um, we're going to do the hummingbird because we've got to get all the colours out. So I'm going to grab sienna brown and dark umber. Let's get our cards out, guys. Let's get our cards so you can all follow along. Because some people like you and just follow and it gives them the option to do so with the cards so that we can, uh, you know, we can chat. But people like to mute it sometimes. So it gives them that choice, doesn't it? It be good to find the actual. There we go. So I need Sienna Brown first. So the Sienna Brown is going to go on the um, actual like stick parts of the pollen. I don't know what they're like stems, stems of the pollen parts. So I'm just going to put that straight. You don't need to fussy fussy too much with that because they're just little tiny stems and they don't really shade, do they? Out. They're kind of like a solid colour so you're just going to put them in the middle hey Belinda <laughs> oh my gosh so good now I'm back <laughs> I love it when she says that Sammy <laughs> my Belinda yeah I'm here <laughs> surprise <laughs> No, I know. It feels like a, an eternity ago, doesn't it? It really does. <laughs> All right, I need to find dark umber. It's gone missing. It's gone missing. We'll find all the colours prior to, um, like the aquamarine and true green and peacock green. And we'll find all those before we actually start colouring the hummingbird. So that we don't have to um, search. Do you know what? I'm not going to find a colour for that because it's only a tiny little bit. So this is Dark Umber 947. And it's literally just to go like, into these little parts because that's all they are. They're like a, just a dark brown. So it's Dark Umber. You don't need to bust the over it because they're just the tiny little bits in the middle. They fall off. Well, I snip them off. I'm, I'm brutal. I get the snippers to them every time that I get lilies so that I don't have to smell them. The thing does not die. See? Comes to life. <laughs> oh, my gosh, me too. I just watched Jessica Jones as well. Because I've been with Tilly, I've been sitting next to her, not moving much. Um, I've managed to watch a few things and colour a few pictures. There we go. So they are complete. I'm not going to add anything else to them. I think they are great. Oh, it was dusting, Gary. Um... Dustin, I like them all. I loved Bobby in this one. Oh my gosh. Um, Erica was hilarious. But still Dustin. Still Dustin, I have to say. Dustin is my favourite. I love him. He is amazing. Okay, so we're going to do this, like, these colours into here. So we're going to get aquamarine, like aqua. Uh, Colbert turquoise. I'm going to get some blues <clears throat> on my voice. Let's just grab some colours out. I love Steve. In his Ahoy uniform. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I love him. <laughs> he was amazing. Oh, my gosh. 
Okay, so we need some, um, we need some blue. So I might grab a denim and an indigo. So we've got these, I'm just grabbing some colours for our hummingbird and then I need some purple. Steve, he was like, he actually, oh, I can't say too much, but he is like my new hero. <laughs> Oh, I love him. Okay. Dahlia purple. That is a good purple. And we need a darker one to go in this. Maybe some violet. And maybe a little bit of black. Black, right? Dark. No, dark's a purple hue. Right, okay. We're going to get these types. That seems good, doesn't it? And then we need a bit of a pink. We might not use all of these. Don't worry. I just go mad on grabbing things so that I've got something to go by. Okay, so see this palette is like what we're looking at if we're going to look at the um, hummingbird. Oh, Karen, oh my goodness. Well wishes. I'm so sorry that you've had that. I hope that you heal very, very quickly. How do you make it so it's not... Oh, hi, Edry. <laughs> How do you make it so it's not gappy without making the color so dark if that makes sense what so what with the blend like blending out so it's not got a big gap of color so is that what you mean yeah we're all going to play around because we've also got some um colors to play with yeah, the, the scoop troop, the scoop troop. They were, in, oh my gosh, they're amazing. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pull out some cards of those um, and we're going to grab some of the pencils out now. Let's get, bear with me, let me grab them. Oh, okay, yeah, so grab a lighter shade of whatever you're doing, Melissa. So say you're doing greens and you want no gap, grab the lightest shade of that colour group that you're working with and use that on the paper bit so there's no gap. It's the only way. So grab a lighter shade. I'm just grabbing the pencils. So like with me, I just did the um, lilies. I grabbed a cream, which is the lightest yellow tone, and filled in the gaps so it blends, because it will blend it all out. So grab the lightest of whatever color group you're using, and it will blend it out. It always does. Yeah, so like, say you just did yellow. So I've got the cream, and I've blended that in in between all the gaps, so there's no paper left. It just, so if I grab my cream a minute, if you've got any paper, just blend it out and it gets rid of the paper you know, and it's just blended it in with, a, with the same colour group. Um, so you you look, you won't have any paper. It's like with the foxes. We we went in with different tones and kept going over and by the lightest one, if you've got any areas, just come back to your lightest tones and just grab the lightest of whatever colour group you've got. <laughs> So let's do, so I start off, I'm going to put, because they've like got an aqua tone to them, haven't they? So I'm going to put an aqua tone to start with. I think we're going to go with light aqua just to base it. Um, I think that would be a good, a good call. Yeah, markers, you can even put a marker base. Hey, Pately. Um, Donna, you use marking some learning to use products because markers bleed. Oh, thank you, Diana. Yeah, but markers are amazing as well. You can use, we're going to be using Copix a little bit more. I can't wait to get back into the swing of things. Oh, Belinda, we're going to have to give you a Darth Vader mask. <laughs> you make me laugh. You'll be fine. Just stuff your nose with some tissue, like get some tissue, stuff your nose. <laughs> it's horrible. I wish I hope you don't feel too run down. I won't laugh. But we have to laugh. Because if we don't, we'll end up feeling miserable. <laughs> stuff your nose. 
Um, okay, uh, let's go in. Well, this is Create Space paper, and this is one of the thinnest, I think, um, of the Create Space of the Bennetts. But it can work. Light layers build up. Hey, D. Um, so yeah, we'll go for light aqua. And what I'm going to do is just going to go some of these areas. Do you want me to come in a little bit closer? Would that be helpful? All right, so bear with me. I'll bring you down again. Do you want to come in a little bit more? Just one second, everyone. Is that better? Is that clear, though? It's got to be clear on your screens. Okay, so if you're going to come in, so leave some of the areas for another colour, So because we're going to come in with some, like, Dahlia purple, for instance. So I'm just going to base down a little bit with a light aqua, and I'm not going to go in heavy, because I just want to plan. And that's what I seem to do with my colours. It's like, plan where I want things. So if you grab, like, in between, so you know where your colours are going, um, let's grab Dahlia, okay? Let's grab that because why not? So if you get if you got your light aqua and you got your Dahlia purple, in those little Dahlia purple parts, we're going to put just like a few areas because we've got some here. Um, it's going to bring some here as well. So just plan it. So you're not doing your shading yet. This is not your shading. This is just planning out where you want your like your colours to go. So we're going to have the Dahlia Purple coming in. You go back to your Light Aqua and now you go round to where you put the Dahlia Purple. Um, so go round it and bring it in. I might want to add a little touch more of the Dahlia Purple again. So just plan out your colours. This is a good way to do it, I think. It just gives me a, like, a pinpoint. And again, I'm just going to bring some strands up. Um, same with like bringing it down. Let's bring some strands down. We're going to bring some pink as well. Um, so here. So your darkest areas only are going to have it and then the rest will be light. Uh, yeah, mum's got that. Oh, you're so sweet, Kay Catzar. Thank you so much. I know for me, I don't feel like a great teacher. I, I'm just here to um, just enjoy the streams with everybody and, and pass on the knowledge that I can and have fun with the pictures. But I appreciate that so much. You'll never know. Thank you. Okay, so you see you're planning out, right? And if you want channels, ladies, throw up your, um, I have a channel. <laughs> and... Uh, People who may be new, might not have known about you, they can come over. Ah, oh, thank you. Purple, reds, pinks and hummingbirds. Yeah, they are so lovely, aren't they? I don't have them here, but I'd love to see them. Okay, so I'm going to go with my light aqua again. So we're going to deepen up some parts of this with some blues and, you know, uh, ultramarine and stuff. But this is just the base colour to guide us. Okay, so we're just going to have the back. Um, I didn't realise they were as colourful as they were, which is really nice. So we're just coming in with some strands. We're planning. We're planning. There we go. Okay, so we've got a plan. <laughs> oh, quite a way. I'm quite a way. <laughs> Try it. Shout it out, mate. <laughs> Shout it. That was, in, that was in small. No one's going to see that. <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Colour in my tea, you have to shout it. <laughs> and of Linda. Linda's more, um, Linda does everything, but Copics are your main jam. <laughs> <laughs> you make me soft. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh, lady. This is why I missed you. <laughs> and Faith, yes. You're not a mess, but you're a great mess. <laughs> uh, Faith, you do a bit of everything. Okay. 
right so we've got a plan which is our main thing um so i'm going to come in with some culvert turquoise uh there it is we're going to come in here with this color <clears throat> there you go and i'm going to start to deepen up now i'm going to do these like look like feathers so we're just going to not go like block coloring just go with some fine detail i might have to turn you up right you ready let's turn you up so go in with some fine detailing do you want it to turn up a bit more is it nice and bright on your screens is it clear <laughs> hi maria yeah i know <laughs> No, we're not getting cakes. Is it when's May's birthday? Hold on, am I missing something? Is it May's birthday? Uh, hi, Shannon. One second. Hi, everyone. Oh, tomorrow. Okay. We'll all sing happy birthday to you at the end of the string because I'm not on tomorrow. So, in advance, May. Happy birthday for tomorrow. Eat lots of cake. Ha eat, drink and be merry. And happy birthday for tomorrow. I'll sing at the end. Remind me. What could I do it now? I'm a really terrible singer. Hey, Camille. So, yeah, we're not block colouring this bit. I'm going to sort of like plant in um, like they like mini dots and bring it to life. Oh, nice. <laughs> she will do it from the start. Okay, ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear May May. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip, hooray! <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe people, stay with me. <laughs> no, May, it genuinely, I've known you a long time now, have a great birthday. I didn't know, you must write, I'm gonna write it down. So it's, what's the date tomorrow? 19th of the 7th, you're a few days after my Andrew. Is May's birthday. <laughs> oh, I don't think that. Andrew always tells me, yeah, stop singing. Your singing is terrible. He loves me, though. So he kind of, like, it kind of scared him away. Yeah, he's still here. Okay. So we're just putting these colours in to start with. I want to put in um, a little bit more of light aqua. So just bear with me. So we're just playing with colours. Those purples need to be brought out a little bit more. With anything, building up is like the key, I think. So we'll just get going. I don't, I've never done a hummingbird, so yeah. We're gonna try. <laughs> Okay, let's put in some of the light aqua. I want to put some pink in those wings as well. So I'm just going in very lightly with some light strands as such. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you all money later for saying that. <laughs> Or I'll give you um, some chocolate. <laughs> or we'll give Melody some cakes. <laughs> okay. So with this purple, I'm going in some dioxide purple hue a moment because I just want to deepen up a little bit. Where's my purples gone? They're running away. Um, there it is. I don't want too dark. Some of it on the uh no, thank you, Adri. Right. I appreciate you all so much for that. Honestly, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Okay, so obviously the purple on the underneath of the breast is probably going to get a bit darker. So we're going to put that darker there. And I'm just very, very small. I'm going to put these tiny little, um, just like it's like on the edge of the feathers and bring some up slightly. So I just want it more on sort of the breast here. We'll see. Hi, Robin. It's Connie here. Connie, hey, I was saying earlier, I was watching a stream back and I saw your mum wasn't well. I'm so sorry. I hope that she's um, rested and that you're all okay. <laughs> and if she's not, I'm sending huge, huge healing wishes her way. Your ears must have been burning. <laughs> okay, right. So before we go in, I need parrot green. We're going to lighten it up a little bit and put some green. Um, where's parrot green? Is that it? Yeah, it's one of my favourite. Take care, Robin. Thanks for joining. Okay, so I'm going to put some parrot green in. I want it on the underneath. Let's mix it in. <clears throat> that purple. So I'm going to try and get the colours, but it might not be exact. I mean, it's going to be my version of Hummingbird, let's face it, on the underneath. And the top's going to be with the blue, so let's bring down some of that again. Let's bring that down. And into, I've forgotten about the tail. Naughty. Okay. <laughs> It's funny because I didn't believe in all the star sign stuff, but the, the kind of characteristics of Taurus is me um, to a T. So maybe it is true. I, I you know, is I'm, I'm not sure. Is it? I don't know. I do think so, though. I think it kind of, like, matches who we are. I'm going to go with indigo blue. I've got one of those in there, haven't I? Instead of using the newer one. Oh, I'm not searching for it. <clears throat> yeah, I know you're one as well. That's okay. Don't, don't, don't ever say sorry. Connie, go do what you have to. Thanks for popping in. We're all sending our wishes to you. You've got us all behind you. Okay, I'm going to go for indigo blue just on the top. But you're in my wishes. It was something I noticed the other day and I thought, I didn't know whether to email you because I didn't know if I was sticking my oar in. Um, but when I did see you, I wanted to tell you that I was thinking about you and your mum. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of the blue in. What colour are their eyes? Hey, Laurie, Laurie. Okay, so they've got an underneath bit is dark. I'm just looking. Under there is very dark. And then he's got like a light patch there, so I've got to keep that quite light. The blue comes down a bit. Let's separate this up a bit. Okay, so the lightest colour is that one, isn't it? So we've got to mix in some white. So the light aqua stays in the middle. Sorry, I'm just fiddling now. So I don't want any gaps, like Melissa was talking about that gap. You don't want the gap too much. <clears throat> hey, Joy. Hey, Nick and Tina. Or Nick and T. I like green eyes. Nick and T. It's a good name, T. <laughs> Which one are we talking to, Nick or Tina or both? Hi, Darla. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> hay fever is bad at the minute really bad I don't know about you guys if you suffer with it I don't usually that bad but I do get it now and then okay cold but turquoise this, in the mornings I wake up with very stuffy nose and my throat feels like it's going to close but then as the day goes on it tends to be all right <clears throat> but I get a dry throat okay so I'm just coming in with a little bit of detail around the edging especially <clears throat> what was that? Oh, your is so good. I'm happy I subscribe because you haven't a huge block lately. Ah, you know, sometimes I feel, Diana, 
with blocks. I have them, I've got, I, everyone has them. <clears throat> it's good also to have a little look at what's around, like hashtags and stuff, because you can go and have a little look and one of them might call you. And then before you know it, you're back colouring and, you know, finding that that hashtag appealed to you and you've done a picture. But if not, don't feel bad if you have a colouring block. I say this to everyone all the time. If they're not, they're okay. <laughs> they're natural. Um, don't force yourself to do a picture in your colouring blocks. Do something else. Go and read or whatever other hobby you've got. If you like to go watch box sets or movies or crochet or whatever it might be. Or like May, she makes those little animals and, and what are they? They're like little people. Um... Okay, Joy, I haven't looked. I'm going to, yeah, I'll send an email back once I've looked. I've got to go through all of mine. Um, Joy, as soon as I do, it's there. I will send you one back straight away. How are you, Judy? Or oh, Jody, sorry, I'm looking. My eyes. Hi, Jody. I saved yours from my phone. It's fine. Yeah, I definitely will. I haven't been in my emails because I haven't really been around. As you know, I've not been around for, as I said, an eternity. Let's face it. I'm not going to beat around the bush. <laughs> I haven't been around for a while. So I haven't actually checked my emails all week. So if you have sent in your Hannah Coles on picture from the jewellery box, I will reply as soon as I've saved it. I save it to my computer and I will email you back. For those of you who haven't done yet, don't worry too much. You've still got to the 28th of July. If you can't get it done by then, it's very late. It's like the August the 5th type. Um, no later than that because then I can put all the video of what you've been doing for me together. Okay. So I don't know if that's going to pick that up, but we're going to put some, like, pinks in there in a minute. But it's got, like, a turquoise shine right in the middle. I want some white just to highlight he's got like a just bringing some white in to make that bit the lightest area just a tiny bit there we go so you got a lighter area down there yeah i am okay thank you how are you yeah now I, we all have them we all have them we all have them and they come back like when you need to I mean don't don't fret it I don't I'm going to bring in some pink and then we're going to put some shading into the wings and um, the thing with color blocks they come to the best of us it's like you might even have a picture three quarters of the way done and something stops you from finishing it and you're like looking at yourself like what the hell how am I not getting on with this it's ridiculous I've only got the end to finish, um, but it's it's just life. It's life. It's just sometimes you just your mood. Your mood's very much a part of like why we don't finish things, or um, we might just not be in the mood for it at the time. But yeah, we get back to it. Something pulls us back, and I, you know it doesn't chime. Okay. Um, is that pink? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to bring pink in. And now it has like a pink tinge. So I'm going to go down the sides of where I've put all the rest in. So just bring some down. Now, mixing colours is the fun, for me, the funnest part of pencils. The funnest part of any media. I love to mix colours and then bring it all together. It's just the best <laughs> feeling. Oh my gosh, it's hard to tell you how much I love it. It is like one of the best things for me to do. Uh, I do, I do use a blender pencil very rarely. What? See? What? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Hi, you see. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Blending Prismas is easier with the colours, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder if my honey will go and make a cup of tea very shortly I have to ask him he's playing the piano in the other room 
he learns that he, uh, he's got a digital piano. Um, he's off today, so he's doing his hobby and I'm doing mine. It's nice because you get some time to do your own thing and then you come together after. Okay, so we've got pink in there. Can you see that? You like the crown. I like the Derwent one. Thank you, Joy. Thank you so much. We've got to do all the background. We're nearly done. Um, so into the middle, <clears throat> I think I'm going to bring in some lavender and then blend in with white. Uh, let's go for it. Where's the lavender colour? <laughs> it's making me laugh, Celia. <laughs> oh, nice. I used to love it. I can't have it anymore. Um, but I used to love hot honey and lemon drinks when I had a cold. And, you know, I swear by it. I think it is the best thing for a cold, especially, like, when it's sort of brewing. Okay, so I'm going to bring the lavender into the very middle here. And then we're going to blend with a white. So you see all these colours have gone down side by side, then we'll bring it together. Uh, yeah, Adrian, we're going to do the background um, with pencils. Very, uh, <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment, aren't I? But yeah, we're doing a pair. Oh, we might put some distress inks as well, which I probably will do. Um, we might do some distress inks here and then go in with pencil. We'll see. I've got to decide. But I want him to be the focal point. Oh, no, I'm doing the lavender. Uh, the honey and lemon um, melody, I swear by it. Thank you, Mandy. Uh, Melissa, do you know, I was sitting there thinking about this, and um, I think these are going to be like an ochre gold um, that I'm going to do with yellow ochre, goldenrod, and probably a bit of chocolate. I'm going to do that border quite repetitively, so I'll only do some of it because um, if you look at this bit, otherwise it's going to be over and over again. I'm thinking maybe like red. What do you think? Like a... I want to keep it quite ochred. I'm thinking. I want to need to do his beak. <laughs> oh, his beak is like an indigo. Okay. His beak is indigo. So we need a blue and an indigo. There it is. Um, okay. I love everything that's my problem <laughs> um but yeah the next page that we're going to do with pencils will be the derwent light fast because we have to try them out like now <laughs> um so that'll be probably on saturday okay so we need the white okay so this is just the white we don't need a thingy for that so with the white i'm just going to blend together and if i need to deepen up i use some indigo just bring that, it takes out all of the uh, pencil lines, but I'm also going to bring in, as I said, I'll deepen it up a bit because what the white can do is mute the colours down, um, but it's blending it together. I don't use a blender. I don't know why. I just, I don't. I wish I did sometimes, but okay. So then with the indigo, yeah, yeah, they do. As long as you, May, are you still around? <laughs> May makes watercolors go in every book that she owns she doesn't care it's like it's gonna work for her <laughs> um so yeah it, it really can she's here <laughs> watercolors can go in pretty much everything if you're careful okay so i'm just going to bring in the indigo just to um separate out a little bit yeah, watercolour, I love in the Kirby books as well. I don't know if you girls are with me that are colour bookers. Um, the, the Kirby books are amazing for watercolours. I think they're probably my, if I was going to say try a book to start with, try it in a Kirby book. Um, they seem to go down really well in that. Okay, so I'm just separating up. Yeah, Kirby books are really good for it. Hi, everyone coming in. 
Simon, I've not seen you. I'm so sorry, my head's down. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending time with me. And thank you for, um, you know, giving up your time to be here. Okay, so you can see that that separates that all off. So it's kept the colour, separates it off. Now we need the indigo. So what I'm going to do now... Mm -mm. We need to open Hagen blue. I need a little bit of light blue and then a little bit of indigo. So we'll go for indigo here. His beak is blue. But I'm just going to do the underneath as the darkest. Okay. And then as I'm coming down, I'm going to lighten off the pressure. And I'm going to bring in a bit of the light. Like that quite yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, April, do you like it? Which one did you get? I love his books. He's I want him to do a mythomorphia poster book like now. <laughs> now. It's like when's that gonna happen? I really he's done the other two, and I know that took a while to come out, so maybe we live in hope that he'll do one for mythomorphia. I'm hoping anyway. Okay, so I'm just bringing um, the beak. So we've got the beak going. Now the eye, what colour is their eye? Our oh, Mythomorpha is one of my favourites. It's black. I'm going to put a little bit of blue in it. I'll just grab any black. Just grab a black. And I'm just going to go round here. And I'm just going to bring in my indigo blue again. Where did I just put that? You know, sometimes you have something in front. Oh, it's in my hand. I'm looking for it. It's in my hand. Okay, so they have a little dark eye. There we go. And he is complete. We need to do the background. <laughs> this is going to be a while. I hope you, um, I'm going to ask Andrew if he can make a cup of tea. And then we can continue. Okay, let's zoom out. Thank you so much. Look. So... They're coming to life. I'm really liking it. Um, the only thing I'm going to do with my black is just slightly just bring up um, just a tiny bit. This is just the black pencil. I'm just going to bring in some of those like feathers just a little bit. You know, sometimes they get lost. There you go. So just a little, just brings it out a little bit. No, really? You haven't done anything in your book? Are you not planning to? Serene is probably the only one that doesn't take it too well. It does buckle a lot. But yeah, I'm thinking about this board just be a goldy type of colour. What do you think? Like yellow ochre, golden rod, that type. A little bit of maybe. Let's have a look at the sides. We've got... um. I'm just thinking. So say this is a circle. Just thinking here. So if we've got our yellow ochre, I'm just thinking about colours. Got golden rod. And then we need a light of time. Thinking. No, I don't want jasmine. Let's have a look at our yellows. I want it a little bit brighter than that. Canary maybe. Mm. Let's have a look. Oh no, <laughs> I have to colour it. I've got two copies. I'm like, my first one got damaged though. Um, let's put a little bit of bright up. This is canary. I'm just doing a test at the side. Um, I should put some chocolate maybe. A bit deeper. Let's have a look. I, it's what I'm just testing out what I would like to do. Oh no, I love my Serene. I'm going to do a buddy colour with, I, I just adore her, um, Christina, Rebel Rogue. She is a beautiful soul and um, she asked me if I wanted to do a buddy colour and I was like, yes. <laughs> so we're going to do, you know, in Serene, the Goddess of War one. It's lovely. I've not done that one yet. So I'm going to round myself and Vicky, we're going to do, I think we're going to do the twins. Are we doing the twins? One's going to do one twin and one do the other, and we're going to put them together as, like, one page. I think I might do that. I'm just having a look. 
um, that gold, but more yellowed going up. Or that's one option. Um, and if you're all, oh, if you want something different, I was telling Melody about it as well because you know, just let everyone know what's around. Um, Ruby Charms Colors <clears throat> is doing a color book on black paper on her Etsy store. So her pieces are on black paper, and then when it comes out, it comes off the page. And it looks amazing. Um, but yeah, there's that out as well. So for something different, I know if you're not seen that, go onto her store. I think you can pre-order it. Um, I'm not sure about the price though. I think, and then you get it personalised as well, um, Belinda. It, you can get it, and it, it comes in like this gold foiling or rose gold or whatever, with your name on the front. And as you open it, it's got all of the pages printed onto black paper. Um, so it's quite something. Okay, I'm just thinking about reds, maybe. Mm, poppy. That's uh, scarlet. We're just doing a little test at the side. There's so many things that you can have a little look about, but it's endless, isn't it? So it's just um, chestnut in there so that I can put that as a deeper colour. Fade it out into poppy. Just looking. Mm, what do you think? Uh, what book am I using? I am using the Bennett Klein Colour My Sketchbook Wild. There is two. Oh, really? You, did you get it though, Zeely? Is it is it really, really hard? Because it looks amazing, like what I've seen of it. It's quite expensive, isn't it? I don't know how much. Just thinking about the sides, going round the side, we're looking at the border. We're thinking if the middle goes as the reds, or the border goes with the reds, so the other would be like adjacent, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so like a gold border, because I will get a fine liner in these like just squares, it's gonna be fine liner. Um, so if I did that, I'd do the gold. I've got a Posca, um, I got my Posca gold, yeah, I got my Posca gold. And maybe I could do that around them. And it would all sort of tie in with that ochre tone so that this is the focal point. I'm thinking maybe stick with the golds then. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, let's grab the cards then. So we'll do those two. I think those two colour palettes will look really good together, don't you? But we'll keep it toned down. Are you working on a Bengal tiger? Oh, let me show you what I did do. Hold on, let me grab it. And I'll put the kettle on. Two seconds. I haven't even got my sign. Um, and I've got my sign. Two secs. Andrew. If I put the kettle on, will you make it? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I can't get rid of Alice, but I just said I've got to. I can't wait for you. All right, let me just grab that book. He's making me a tea, so I don't have to do that. <laughs> hey, everyone coming in. It's super. Hi, Kimberly. That's okay, you like work. I love it when you say that. Um, super hard to see. I've started a page, can only work on it for so long before I get a headache. Oh, no, Zeely, but do you, is that, that's okay. <laughs> don't ever apologise, guys. I love my lurkers just as much. Oh, I don't want to zoom in. Right, so what I did as well, and I don't know whether you wanted me to do like out of Geomorphia because I love my Kirby so much. Oh my gosh, I love I love his book. And I did this scene, um, you know the swamp one in the forest. Okay, let's do. Hold on, guys. So I did this swamp scene, 
um that's gonna really really wash out on you and I did this with super colors and sergeant arts oh no 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 um and do you know how much I enjoyed this right there we go hopefully it will focus you know how much I enjoyed this this was a watercolour page. So this is why I brought this to you. There is no buckling on the adjacent side to where I put down quite a lot of water on this page. And I'm not kidding you, I really did. This is all water background. I also put distress inks on there. But just to show you, curvy books are so resilient with watercolor i was amazed it was one of those that um it was a limited color palette because i wanted it to be um for my louisiana sister and i wanted it to be something you know that resembled the bio because i love that and especially in hey julia i want something like swamp like the bio um the you know, all the mossy types. So I also got some distress inks on that. Thank you. These are all distress inks on there. Um, I put some distress inks on there. I put colored pencil and then I put all super colors. And I'm finding the paper is so resilient. So if you want to watercolor anything, um, particularly if you're new to watercoloring in, in, in a color book, try a Kirby book because they are so good them they do everything works in Kirby everything works um may you don't find black color metrics now you can find save the page checking I what you also can do and I didn't realize that's really made that so bright now um I didn't realize you can do this is buy some craft card in black because you can and um print your pages out on it and it should it should give you um, that same as the book, I believe. Other people have tried it and it's worked. So you can actually buy like a craft card in black and, you know, you've, you've got it. You've, you've got that kind of effect that we were talking about with the um, black card. Right, so we need our cards. Let's get our cards for our colour page. Um, finish this off because I really would like to finish this off today. Just, you know, just try it. But if you don't want to get the book, because it is quite an investment, I think it's quite expensive, um, you can try it. I mean, Zeely is fine. She says it's hard to see. So if you find with the vision, maybe it's not a good idea. If you don't mind tricky stuff, because some people really like to get into tricky stuff, then, you know, it probably wouldn't be a harsh thing for you. Um, I'm sort of in between. Sometimes I get really cross-eyed with it and other times I'm not too bad you know it's I don't mind uh but I can see why if you had any vision problems or if someone just genuinely cannot be doing that it probably wouldn't be you know the way forward okay let me just grab these um we might put some distress ink down as well because we'll start this off um so we're going to do two color groups the reds and the ochres yeah I'm really loving I mean I love coloring so much um I cannot even tell you how much I love coloring it's it's everything um it's genuinely something that I I just I love it I love it it is everything <laughs> Um, right, so I need canary. So I'm just finding all these, so we haven't got to keep rooting for them when we need them. There we go, we've got these. Yellow ochre. Uh, chocolate, yeah, I love that colour. Thank you. Yeah, well, if you've got a daylight lamp, Zeely, daylight lamps are really good for that as well. Got my canary yellow I need. Um, I might want Tuscan red over that one. I might not use chestnut. I might use, sorry, everybody. I'm just trying to fiddle and get my colours right. I get Tuscan red, I think. That's always better. Um, let's find it. Tuscan. 
sorry if I'm just fiddling at the moment. Hopefully, it's just a really, this is like a, a relax. <laughs> this is the time to breathe and relax. It's like breathing. Breathe out. <laughs> it's, uh, you need one of those voiceovers, don't you? Um, you know when you do your workouts on the... Has anyone done them on the Wii, the Nintendo Wii, and then you go to the yoga and it's like, right, breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> That's what everyone needs to be doing whilst you're waiting for me. <laughs> um, hey, everyone coming in. Uh, direct, not just that. I, yeah, um, I do. It just does not work. Oh, That's disappointing. I was hoping you'd be like, yes. <laughs> I need it now. I'm gonna go on there. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a shame that it's not though. Right, shame. And um, what am I looking for? Canary yellow. Where's that it's hiding? It's hiding in Tuscan red. There it is. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh yeah, you can't breathe in. <laughs> breathe in through the mouth. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're so funny. Yo, <laughs> you're gonna be funny tomorrow. <laughs> Everyone has to go to Belinda tomorrow and ask her if she's got um, tissue stuff up her nostrils. <laughs> Bless her. Colds are no fun. You've got it winter over there, haven't you? It's so opposite. I I lose track. It's winter in Australia, right? Hi Sue, so sorry for those coming in and you're waiting for me. Now's your time to grab a coffee. I am searching for a card that I can't find. It's probably hiding from me. It's ran away, it's grabbed some legs and um, it seemed to have done a complete runner on me. Ah, one minute, is it here? I'm finding yellows. No, that's greens. Come on. It's not there. Where's the canary yellow? Can I just say it out loud? I can't find my card. Deco, one minute. Seashell, deco, sunburst. I think, is that it? Is that it? Found it? Oh, I found it. Spanish. I'm going to get a Spanish orange. I can't be doing this. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. It's here. This is where I need someone to be here with me. Okay, so sorry everybody. Okay, so I've got my colours. So for this colour group, we might add a bit of black if we need to. We have lightest, mid, going darker to dark. So we've got canary, yellow oak, golden rod, chocolate. That's one group. The other group I have put out is poppy as the lightest, scarlet, crimson and Tuscan red. So those colours will sort of work together. Um, and that's what we're going to do for the two colour groups. So we are using Prismacolor pencils. I've also got some distress inks beside me, should I need to do them for the middle, which we can test out. Okay. Ready? Let's go in. Let's do. So I'm just going to do this bit to start with, um, with the colour group that we're using here. So we're going to go canary yellow. We'll put them in the order that we're going to use them. Okay. We also need a gold Posca. Which is great. Um, I love my poskies. So my pencil case has usually got things that I need in there, what I use quite a lot. You can also use Uniballs. Um, I think I've got another Yeah, I've also got the Uniball one, which is quite inky, but we need a white and we need a gold. Um so I've got my poskas and stuff in there. I love my pencil cases, like my essentials, and everything falls to the ground as it should. Yep. And a gold posca, right? So we're going to get on with it. So I'm going to zoom you in. You know, you just want to see what the state of my state of my desk is like. Um, kind of off the page, gorgeous. What pencils did you use? Oh, it's okay. You can ask away. And thank you. Put it in cap. As, like you've just done, and it'll always grab my attention. Um, I used Distress Inks Super Colours, mostly Super Colours, and some Sergeant Art Super Colours. They are 
amazing for a budget pencil if you want a budget pencil. Sergeant Art Supremes, their pencils are oh, beautiful. And Karen um, uses them as well, in, I think, in her video. Okay, we've still got a swatch. We've got things to do. Right, because I've got to, like, get a shift on because I've actually got to go out. All right, so we're ready. <laughs> I'll keep asking you, but we are, aren't we? <laughs> we are ready. Okay, so your canary yellow is just going to be a small amount. I'm going to mute you for a second because I'm just going to sharpen all of these pencils. So... Okay, we're back. I'm back, I'm back, yeah. Right, so we're going to use our colour grid first. I'm going to go for my canary yellow, and you're going to see how, how much I'm actually going to use. It's going to be minimal. So on these little bits, just go over your entire thing. Leave the square for your Posca, because we're going to do this in gold. So over the entire thing, we'll do, um, we're going to make this look like it's sort of antique gold by the end. You need a light base, so just go over the entire thing with a canary yellow. With um, borders, they can be quite fiddly, as, as well as all that stuff in the middle, so I think Distress Ink is going to be our best friend and going with our pencils after. Um, there we go, so we'll do this bit first, yeah? <laughs> I wiggled it. I wiggled my arms, my bingo wings. <laughs> okay, we're going to get a yellow ochre in. I think I'm going to just go on one side being darker than the other. So I'm going to go for here. It's so humid because I've got no fans on. Where's Tilly gone? Oh, she's sitting in her cage. She took herself over there because I've not. I've been with her for two and a half weeks, um, sort of watching over her the entire time. And she hasn't got my attention. I think she's probably going to be feeling that. I absolutely love her. She is my best friend in a budgie. You know that? Hey, Patty. Thank you. Yes, I am here. <laughs> I am coming back. It was just because Tilly was ill. So if anyone was wondering why the heck I was where I was and what I was doing and where the heck I was gone, um, my Tilly, my budgie, um, she... The thing is, when I took her to the vet, I said, how the heck can I stop a bird from biting something that's making her bleed that could potentially be fatal? And she was like, there is nothing else other than watching them. Just watch her. And I was like, is that the only thing? She's like, yeah, because you can't really do anything else. So every time she went to bite the area, I was there to say no, you know. Um, so I was watching her like a hawk, Andrew will tell you. And... Um, by the end of it, it stopped her from biting it, and it's now almost healed up touch wood, you know. And um, we don't think it's anything too sinister now. We just think it is genuinely, um, it was like a lump of inflammation. It was on one of her glands, um, and they think it was just like an inflamed gland. So I'm so happy that it's nothing sinister, because at first, you know, you see like a mass. And you think it's a tumour, your brain goes there, and you think, oh, my God, because she's eight. And that's quite elderly on a budgie. And I've had her since she was a baby. And I was like, oh, I can't lose her. You know, I don't, you know, the amount of blood she lost, she had no energy. And I was so scared. But no, I, you know, two weeks of being homebound with her and making her not nibble is, it's done the trick. And then I had the hospital yesterday and I've also got going for, radio frequency again on my back which I have to go in um, every now and then and have different procedures done so I don't know when that's going to be but if that interferes with stream days you'll know why because I'll then have my nerves all zapped again in my lower back and the sacral joint as well because the lumbar discs and the sacral joint are now all out um so yeah well, hopefully it will help me and I can do long streams <laughs> okay we're gonna go to chocolate with a longer stream, I can make use of my burning of nerves. <laughs> Let's put it to some good use. 
I was like, burn them. He said to me, do, are you okay? Do you um, want me to explain the procedure? I was like, I oh, know I've had it done before. And he's like, oh, um, you know, do you have any requirements? Is it something that you're okay with? And I was like, just do whatever. <laughs> do whatever. <laughs> yes, she is. Oh, gosh. Okay, so as you can see, I'm only going one side with it. And I'll lighten up the other side. So it looks like it's having one side dark, one side light. Kind of how I'm going to go. It's so fiddly, so you need really sharp pencils. But I think it will fit the picture. Do you not? Do you think? <clears throat> and I think the middle we might have a Tuscan red in that. Let's just put Tuscan red from our other colour group in the middle. Why not? That tiny little circle that we've got. So, and then we'll put the gold Posca and see what that looks like. I think it will look quite cool. We'll come back to you. Come back to my canary. And just bring that over here. Is all your sound good and everything on your ends? Um, is it an okay sound? Right, so I... I zoom out. Can you see, like, it will fit. Because one side, I'm going to do, like, this side the darkest, underneath the darkest, and that side the darkest kind of thing, and then go around with the Posca. So we'll use the Posca. Right, remember to give your Poscas a really good shake um, because they the ink or paint come out of them a lot better. If I do, I can speed this up. I'm just showing you very, very slowly on this side. I'm quite, it's quite relaxing though, let's face it, you know. <clears throat> and, um, oh, did you see Anastasia Ellie Calderiva? She is working on another book. The girl's on fire this year. On fire. I absolutely love her work. She's probably one of my new favourites. I don't know about you guys, but her her books are incredible. So if we tone that down a bit, look, you'll see. It looks, it, I think it looks quite good. So just go around, keep within the lines. So it's quite fiddly. But I think, I don't know about you, but the Uniball Signo gold, gold pen, the copper pen and the silver pen are very inky and take forever and a day to dry, whereas the Posca is like immediate. So you can just add detail. I'm not going to do all of this now, but we'll do that. So can you see, it really will sort of link in. Oh, okay, that's my new look. Oh, and it's a bless. Okay, so can you see, and then we'll kind of do this part here. We'll see what distress inks we've got. Bear with me. So we've still got to quickly swatch out as well. Right, I need like a ready time. Um, we've got aged mahogany. Let's look at what these, oh look, these are red. Let's have a quick look what these look like. Because um, we could go over, couldn't we? Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So I'm just going to go over this side on it. So I think barn door is more the tone that I'm looking for. So that has an underneath that we can do I'm just looking in terms of yeah see if I put that on there rather than the dark one then I can I can blend out can't I so we're going to use bond or distress ink and have a look you're in Washington So if I just very lightly apply this, because we can always go in, yeah, that's what we'll do. Once we've done this, I'm just going to bring out the colour. Um, we can go in with Prismas. This speeds up the process, doesn't it? 
just mind your foxes because you're going to go in with your pencils. Do not get it on your foxes, otherwise it's like, oh no! Just, we'll speed this up. What a great idea to go in quickly with some um, some distress inks because what we're going to do now is just speed up the entire process of that middle. And um, get it going a lot quicker. So distress inks are really good. I like them. I use them a lot to add like moss to stuff especially if you're doing that greenery and on bark like moss and darker tones of browns and I like them for that so when I've done my pencil work I add them on top but this gets the process going a lot quicker so what we're going to do if we come down here I'm going to add the pencil now and you'll see Okay, so if we get our, this one goes crimson, can't we? If we get our crimson, our distress inks have started this all off for us. So it's like saying if you do watercolours or ink tents or whatever your choice of media might be, if you get whatever down first, get it started, go in with your pencil detailing like after, it it kind of just starts the process off for you and then you go in with your details. Let's add that in. Welcome back. So I'm going lightly and on each part, I'm just sort of judging what I want it to look like. So with these little tiny bits, I'm kind of just going from edge upwards with my pressure. So go like a medium to nothing kind of thing. So as you're coming up, just pull your pencil like away from the paper. And it just adds the depth and a little bit of shading in. <laughs> Silly. Don't know if you heard that. She was doing little sounds that I do to her. She copies and mimics like sounds. She's really, really cute. Okay, so like this part here, I'm going to do one side of it, coming out to this side being the light. It's just keep going with like a little pattern. Um, why did you choose a colour that is so close to the focal point? I just wanted to go with the ochre tones. They're still going to stand out, but I just fancy going with an ochre tone. I just fancied it. Once it's all done, it will look fine. But yeah, I don't want to contrast really. I just kind of wanted all that same palette. It's like if you go over the page and you're doing all one colour, you know. I wanted to keep to an autumnal type of tone. Reds, warming, um, just something close to it. It's just something I wanted to. I've got no sort of answer to it apart from I wanted wanted to okay they're like oranges and I just wanted autumnals I think it'll all tie together at the end it's kind of kept within like a, a limited palette as well with like that five color sort of rule um so you've also got like the Sarah Renee Clark color catalog and she shows you also like ones that stick together quite a lot as well as contrasting etc yeah it's, it's you know you can either have one that completely contrasts off each other so you like have green and orange um or you have something that's kept within the tones of the picture and i've kind of just opted for that so I'm just fiddling here at the moment, but you'll see by the end. So if you're doing this with me, you can choose something else. It's your picture. It's entirely your picture. Um, you know, you, you can do and create whatever you want. And that's the good thing about a picture coming to life. 
So here they will still stand out, but this is, hold on, let me zoom out. Hey Shonda, if I zoom, you'll see they'll still stand, but this will be toned down. So if you grab to Tuscan, let's go for some. We've got a sort of fiddle here until we're happy. And I'm sort of just going to play around for a second. Um, I don't want to do too much to it because it then becomes like a, you know, too much of a task for silly little bits. But this kind of just needed finishing to me so that we can move on because I, I've got, otherwise it becomes in like a work in progress pile and we've not finished it. And I didn't want that to be with the case with these because I thought these deserved to be finished. Just thinking what I want to add to this, it needs something. This is where I sometimes I get a colour book and I have to sit back and look and think. All right. See, we've got gaps in paper, they will be filled. Just thinking, hmm. It needs something and I can't put my finger on it. Maybe some golden rock or some yellow ochre. I'm trying to think. Bring in some yellow ochre. So I'm just lost in it for a second. But when it all comes together, it'll look fine. It's just doing bit by bit. But we can tone this down, to be honest. I'm thinking they look better in gold. Because they will get lost. Mm. Kind of want to go around the filigree now with gold. Like this. <laughs> um, I'm thinking they might get lost amongst it. It's a bit too much. I'm trying to think. Kind of like it, but then in a second sense, I don't. Maybe some of it I want to be gold. Like some I can bring. I don't know. I'm just thinking. Let me just think. This is a gold Posca. Hmm. I'm just thinking out loud here. <clears throat> I need to bring you up. One second. Things are better at a distance. Hey, anyone got join in if I've missed you? I'm just thinking out loud. I don't know. Maybe I kind of want to go with the gold or add some gold with it. Just bear with me. This is the thing. If anything goes wrong or anything that I'm over you know double thinking or it's live I'm on I'm thinking here because sometimes with my pictures I do something and I'll do something different after I can add the gold with it can't I I'm just thinking here just adding some gold yeah no I like that okay right so keep the reds but add gold in with it There we go. That, I think that will be better, don't you? So let's add gold, but keep some red and mix the two, maybe. Let me just think here. Take care, Shonda. Oh, hey, hey, Sean. It's been a long time. I'm just thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay. So I am going to keep reds, but I'm going to put golds in with it. So it keeps like a pattern and it does then set it apart. I think if I'd done all red, you were right. It probably would have <clears throat> overshadowed it. That's an error on my account. But as I said, it can be fixed. So if I put both, we've got a pattern of both, haven't we? I think that will do the trick. 
think, yeah, I think we do both. Okay. So I'll mix the two in, I think. That's why I love Poscas. Poscas are so handy. I think we do the two. I think the two work. Michelle, is that the... Hey! Yes, you can, Natalie. <laughs> um, Michelle, was that the Ruby Charms one? Is that what it is? Uh, this one is just a gold one. It comes with a gold black and a white. It's just a gold one um, Posca. You can get them. Hey, Michelle! I think that goes to get... Yeah, no, I prefer that. So we'll do the reds and the golds. Yeah, we're, we're going to do that. Okay, it's what I mean. These suck things. I have to sometimes just sit back and have a look. Um, okay, let's go back. We're going to come up to this part here. So we were doing Canary Yellow is our first one. And we're just going to put down... I haven't streamed anyway um, for a while. As I said, because it was just... Tilly wasn't well. And everyone keep Lou, my mod Lou, in your thoughts because she's having a really tough time and we hope to see her soon. But everybody remember, and I say this all the time and I genuinely mean it, life is first. Get everything, life is priority. You know, things happen and um, you have to sort it out and then you come back. It's no problem. You don't ever have to apologise. It's the same. It, it works to everybody. It applies to everybody. Okay, so we're just going to go over them all. Not the squares. Sometimes I think pictures are very busy, like middles, and they don't need to be. And I think this is one of those. It's one that's the focal point is the foxes, you know. Take care. Thank you, Belinda. <laughs> oh, Faith, I've got them here beside me. You want to see my Posca collection again? I've got them all here. Do you want me to shove them all? After I've done this border, I've got to do the pit pens, haven't I, quickly? And um, I'll show you very... I'll shove them all on the table. I've done it before. I haven't actually added too much to them since. So I've just got the colours that I use. Hmm. She says. Famous last words. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> Yeah, she is. She's much better. Um, so we're going to go to um, Yellow Ochre next. Thank you. And we're going to be quite quick on this occasion because we've done that part. So we're going to come up here. Just fade out. The good thing, that's what I love about pencils as well, is that you can colour match groups and fade out a lot. So if you've got, um, like, say you're doing a colour group with the yellow and you do a base and then you pick your next one, which is a mid-tone, then you pick your darker tone. And as you're doing that, they kind of all layer on top and mix together and merge, but create such a good shade. Um, it ends up that it shades out and it works. And then you've got, like, this great blend just from using sort of three or four pencils in one colour group. Because I think it's it's easy to achieve with one pencil alone, a blend, of course you can, but you can't layer up and create a different colour unless you bring another and introduce another pencil in. So people say to me, oh, how do you, you know, pick your colour groups? I'm like, I always sort of look at a light tone, a mid-tone and a dark tone. And if you've got those three, it works really, really well. So we're just going round. So this is just um, sort of just creating a darker side of light. So because we're going to come back with our canary yellow, don't forget. 
So that part here is going to be darker on the underneath, like that. Hiya! <laughs> hey, Lulu. Okay. Well, have you got your other one? I love colouring. I love it. As I said, oh, it will never leave me, genuinely. Um, as long as my hands can colour, I'm colouring. Andrew? It's a uh, three chip. I'll, I'll have to cut off soon, guys, because we've got to go out. I'm already late. <laughs> Oops, it had to happen, didn't it? I've got that. <laughs> He's already done that just then. I love two hours, obviously. <laughs> I'm biased. We'll try and get this border done. I've got to quickly show you my pits. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Um, the Faber Castell pit. I've got to quickly. Sh I've got to just do a half an hour of shoving. Um, we'll come. I'll have to finish that off in that style that I've done and I'll post it because on Saturday I want to start something entirely new with the Derwent Lightfasts um, so that is going to be the Saturday stream. Take care Camille. So I'm going to try and finish this border off very quickly and then I'll finish off that in the style that I did there and see what it looks like. I'm sure it looks fine. But I really want to come back and do a Derwent Light Fast on Saturday. <laughs> I'm itching. And I also want to try these paints. Um, sorry about hitting that with my glasses. Those paints that Lozzie sent, they look so cool. But yeah, if you're ready for a little show, show and <laughs> show and tell. It is like a show and tell, isn't it? Um, in you know a half an hour show and tell before I sign off then stick with me because I can show you those pits and the poscoots right so then we did um, some chocolate and then it was Tuscan red oh, it's happening <laughs> people said to me you'll always be known for your pencil snaps I'm like yep because I sharpened them it happens so we're just doing a little a blend yeah oh hi Charlotte good to see you I'm so glad to see everybody and thank you so much he's got the hummingbird there as well it's being covered let me put it up here um it's so good to see you, genuinely. I I know I abandoned my channel for a bit, but life happens. Life needs to be tended to. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't see that. <laughs> you didn't hear it. It didn't happen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's the thing, it just, I sharpen them to such a point, it is ridiculous. Oh, I know, Michelle, I've got eight of the um, 28 that, you know, because you've got 100, haven't you? You've got 100 colours, and I've got eight of them. Um, oh, I wish you do. Um, I've got eight of the colours that are additional to the set. So you've got the full set, haven't you? And then I got these are here the singles in this area, so it goes there like that. So I got the autumn red, the apricot, golden sun, dark honey, raisin is amazing, autumn brown, ivy. I love it's like a really dark green and bordeaux. And these are singles of the additional colours to the main set. Um, <laughs> the pickle. I know, bless her, I miss her. I think she's having a little bit of a social media break. Um, but, yeah, people, um, I saw this morning she's having a social media break. So I hope, Pickle, if you watch this, you're okay. I'm sure I saw that this morning. 
it's the thinnest paper it really is but I love I love 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 his art and I just abandoned it for so long no I've not used them yet the only thing I used the 28 on um was a picture I was doing I have to find it let me look on my Instagram hold on hold on hold on I'll tell you what I used them on let me tell you what did I try oh that was it so you know I used uh you know my nocturnes one this one you know her top here that's the colors that I just showed you um and that was because I bought the singles in them initially when they came out on cult pens and I used um raisin I used autumn brown and bordeaux and that was the colors that I used on my nocturnes gal um so hold on let me just scroll through my things yeah so this page I used a couple of these colours together. So autumn red predominantly. I used a raisin in there and I used Bordeaux. And they are just the only colours. And I made it like a texture. So it's like a texture in her clothes. And it they lay down nice. However, I'm finding that Mysteria is very temperamental with colouring colouring um, pencils in general. Oh, let me that's gone too bright now. Um, so it's temperamental. Now, let me adjust because it's all gone funny. Bear with me, everyone. Is that okay? Is it we back in lightness? <laughs> um, so I'm I want to try them on a different book, although I really want to start the Nocturne's Pirate Girl. She's gonna be on the channel. Um, so if you have Mysteria and you have Nocturnes, in Nocturnes um, by Anastasia. Yeah, so in September, Michelle, there's going to be 100 colours. The tin will not have 100. It will only be the wooden box. But you'll be able to buy 40, um, you'll be able to buy the 32 tins and you'll be able to buy the smaller tins, the 72 tins or the 100 box. Are you all okay on your screens? Try refreshing everybody that's here. Okay, so we're gonna get Tuscan Red. Which is going in the middle. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Andrew, take him out, please. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I'll show it's it's such a stunning image. It's actually my favorite in that book. So um I definitely want to do that. So I'm gonna try it with the Derwent Light Fast. Chip. Is he bitting you? Where is he? Chip, can you stop being such a gremlin? Chip. One second. You don't do that. That is terrible. Don't be a gremlin. Come on. Don't do that. I love you. Oh, you're back. Okay, you're back. So I'm just putting the Tuscan Red in the middle as I go around with the Posca. And I'm going to quickly show you the pit pens. I'm going to do like a little test on my paper. Um, and the middle, I'm going to just do in my own time. Because I'm going to do what I did down there and put the gold in. Okay, so she, I know, I know, she, she's uh, amazing, she is actually one of my, I know you shouldn't have favourites, but one of your sort of go-to that you want books from is going to be her, I think her work is outstanding, and if you're in the hobby for life, you know, and it's not just a phase, it, if people say, oh, you know, you got too much, it's, it doesn't matter, you have what you want and it's going to go through life with you so if I have more and more that I'm adding in it doesn't matter you know and I keep looking at these new books and people go oh my god but you've got so much or um you know like 
even at home I think mm, can I justify that because I've got so many books that are uncolored and I think well this is a hobby for life I'm not going anywhere from it it's one of my favorite things to do hi bunny Uh, Natalie, I haven't got a a conversion, but I can. I'm trying to think if I've got time tomorrow if I can convert over. Buy my colour swatches that I've already got. I'll try and find the alternatives to it, but I won't know that. I'll have to do a conversion chart, and I'll only do it for Prismas because it takes time, and it's only a day. If I do that on Saturday, because I was thinking about doing that Saturday, but if I work on a conversion chart, it won't be put out yet. It'll be put out probably next week because I have, yeah, next week I'll have time. I won't have time this week. I've just got a few things to sort out. Hi, Sky. <laughs> yeah, she is. And there's quite a few, I think, of, of colour book artists that either I'll go to, and everyone's got different styles and tastes, and that's why it's so good. But we shall see. I think it's one of those things um, I'm going to have to work on. I'm fine doing a conversion chart from Derwent Lightfast, uh, but I'll do them to Prisma Colours, and it won't be till next week because, as I said, if I do it on Saturday, I'll put, I always list the colours anyway in my descriptions, always, what I've used. And um, if I do that, then I won't do the conversion until next week. Because I'll be busy, Saturday I'll be with you here. Um, I'll be busy tomorrow and Sunday for sure I'm just trying to think of time I should be okay next week hi Joey let me just write that down so Prisma conversion chart to Derwent light fast Okay, I've written it down beside me. Hi, Tanya. <laughs> How are you? Very good to see you all. I was on super early today. It's because I've really got, I should have been out by now. Um, Andrew's like looking at me. I'm like, Sam, are you nearly done? We've got to go out. That's why I came on early. So, okay. So this is just a gold Posca I'm going around the edging with. I need to tidy it up. I don't really want to rush this. If you can hear anything, it's gardeners next door. Okay, so I'm just doing the border with a gold Posca and then all the inside, I'm going to just continue what I did there. I'm going to put the pencil and then going to put some gold. So if I do the gold beforehand, then I don't have to worry about pencil, do I? So if you just go over and just do some gold sections, um, I'm trying to think, like, come up here and come up this way. And then, like, these ones can be in the gold. They don't have to be shaded. What's the point if you can put gold on it? Um, so any of the fine ones I think would be a good idea. So just put them on these little fine bits that come, especially off the ears. And you've got some areas. Oh, look, we've got some here. So just put... Hold on, my PC's doing some virus thing. <laughs> oh, hiya. <laughs> well, welcome to your first live stream. Yeah, it's just time in Michelle. That's I have to do that um when I'm sitting there, you know. Oh what I'll do, I'm watching at the moment a series in the UK called Killing Eve. And if I stick on that, I'll have to sit there and work it out. 
but I like to also use many different pencil brands because it gives people an idea of what they like and I can give you a full kind of review because you, I don't think you can fully review a pencil until you have used them because you don't know how they perform on papers, in books, in any of that. So, yeah. Um, what's that, Sean? Oh it's, oh, it's amazing. I can't stop watching it. I'm on season two now. I watched one, season one in a day. Um, her name's Sandra Winther. Sandra Winther. Let's see. Winter. Good. I'm good. Thank you. I'm glad, Tanya. Um, let's see. It is amazing. If anyone has not watched that, oh my goodness. It, it's incredible. I'm loving it. Killing Eve. The, the woman that's the assassin in it is. Oh, Oh, she's something else. I love Sandra O oh anyway because I'm a Grace fan. Um, she was Christina Yang in Grace. And she's just, I love her. But, oh, my goodness, that season, season one. <laughs> I can't stop watching it. I said I wasn't going to do this and I can't help myself. I'm just putting down some extra shading. I don't want to overshadow much. I'm going to put some extra Posca in as well. So you don't have to be too fiddly with it because it is, it's just, you know. <laughs> I loved this page. Oh, is that her name? Did you watch her in Dr. Foster as well? Oh, <gasps> you got to watch it. Hey, Tracy. Yeah, I am fine. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I love her. She's incredible. I think in a few years' time, she's going to be a mega star. She is so versatile and so believable. She's crazy. <laughs> she's no other word for her. She's mad in it. Oh, my gosh. It's an amazing show. If you have not watched Killing Eve, I highly recommend it. It is um, incredible, but it's not for kids. Do not watch it when your children are around there's a lot of violence uh, but ew, I can't describe it without giving the plot away it's amazing okay I'm just putting some Tuscan red in for some details um let's put that on there it's like these tiny little bits <laughs> that are you're gonna laugh but does anyone else find they enjoy a Kirby page and then they get to those damn clouds that he does on everything and the clouds just are the bit that you're like oh, over is anyone else the same I know same here Natalie I loved Dr Foster take care Lulu thank you so much Tracy Sandra with the art yeah it's the same. You get you 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 do a Kirby page. You are so proud of it, and then you get to clouds, and you're like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do with a hundred million clouds on my page? <laughs> you do the main thing. <clears throat> oh no, can't do that. They are the one thing on a page that's been like. Ah! Hey. KP, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> I know, I feel like I've been away for so long from everybody. I feel like I've been in a shell. <laughs> I've just come out. Yeah, I've written it down. Thank you. Okay, so let me grab my, I'm going to grab crimson. I'm just going to. Fade that out a little bit. I've got to put some yellow ochre in as well. Um, there we go. So if I'm just adding a little bit more on there. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm just looking. Uh, so yeah, I'm just adding bits and bobs. Oh, Desiree, hi! 
<laughs> I was talking about you earlier. <laughs> How are you? Are you feeling okay? Are you colouring today? Is the big question. <laughs> oh my goodness, I wish I did. I've been up early these days because Tilly's antibiotics. I've been up at the crack of dawn for me. I'm not used to it. But it's, you know, it's got me into good habits because um, I used to like sleep in because I used to have late nights and uh, yeah. Right, we're going to get our gold posca. Oh, what are you going to get done? Braids, sure. What are you up to in your hair? Um, so we're going to come over this way. I'm going to grab some on here. I feel like TV's been my life for a bit. <laughs> I'm just putting some gold poskies down. Go get your coffee. Thank you so much. <laughs> Go grab your coffee and come join us. I was saying the Louisiana sister earlier and thanking you also for the um, I'm showing the colorist special effects and the Derwent Light Fast Colors. Ow now is standing is standing here. But yeah, we'll come back Saturday. Next week we'll get started back on like shows properly and giveaway and you know, back to normal. It's just because I've it, as I said, life, 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 life. But um yeah, we get back to something, some sort of schedule going on. Right. So let's put a bit gold in here. Yeah, she's much better, much better. Where is she? Oh, bless her. She's sitting in the middle. Right, let me show you what she does. She sits in the middle of her swing. Um, so she's over in her swing again. So she's got a play gym, a trapeze, like that. Uh, so she sits in, that's her in the middle. So she's got like a trapeze swing, and it's in the middle of the front room. And she's like that on there right now as well. That's exactly her pose. Ah, she's gorgeous. I absolutely adore her. Look, the colour's gone funny. Hold on. Let's go right up again. That's it. Let's bring it back down. <laughs> yeah, she's back in there. Okay, so we're nearly done because I just want to bring out some light like, details with some black posca as well. And then when we're, we are done. So we'll post it up on um, Instagram and Facebook. And our thumbnail will be this, obviously. But I still got to bring out all my Poscas for Faith and show you all my Poscas. I have, I'll show you the um, swatches. I have swatched them out. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab um, my black. I'm just going to make sure that there's a slight, you're going to think this is bizarre, but just trust me. Now, if you get your black and you just make sure there is a slight shadow behind them, they will stand out. So just ever so slightly with a black pencil, just bring that round the edging of them and they will pop. And that just makes sure that they are still your focal point. So just make sure that anywhere that there's like another object, let's bring that whisker out, that's it. Anywhere that's another object behind, grab your black pencil. Just go around the edge slightly and look like it's off the page. Hi, Helly. It's so nice to see you as well. I'm so happy to see you all genuinely. I'm like, ow. <laughs> Andrew will tell you, I was like, do I stream? But Tilly needs me. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. My Tilly needs me. <laughs> and um, in the end, it was like, okay, let's get her back to normal and then let's get a schedule back. And then I was, you know, there's so many channels now. It's impossible not to overlap with people. And I mean that, impossible. So don't, no one should ever be offended when another channel goes on because I think that's going to happen now. Um, so the times that I was going to was night times, but it wasn't my usual slots because Tilly was asleep and I thought, okay, now's the time. But then other people were on and I just, I thought, no, just wait till she's better. Just wait till she's better. And when she's better, I'll be there. Okay, so that just makes them stay as a focal point. 
It is May's, hi Laura, it is May's birthday tomorrow. Oh nice, you got the Colouring Heaven come, what the Sorcerer's one. There's also the uh, special and there's a Frightling special coming out soon, which is available to pre-order soon. Um, so keep an eye out on Colouring Heaven's page because they've put all the updates. So I think I'm going to call them done because I'll just fiddle otherwise. Let me just get my white Posca and just put a tiny little dot. Make sure they stand out. Let's put some extra. There we go, because we've got the background done now. Okay, I'm quite happy with them. I think that's come, come out all right. I'm quite happy with that. Let's Um, there we go. All right, so I finished Mr. Bennett. Well, I had to finish this page. If I didn't, I would have been really mad at myself. Um, but I'm really happy with the foxes. There's a lot of busyness going on in the background, but I think for the most part, it's actually turned out okay. Um, I just put a tiny bit underneath those. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Thank you so much. I'm really, really, I really like the foxes. I really do. I think they come out really nice. Right, so very quickly, um, so I'm going to put that as my thumbnail, obviously, because we've done that for the most. I wanted to also show you, but I have to do a separate video for these. Um, right. <coughs> Aaron Shepherd <coughs> sent these out to quite a few of us. I didn't even know they were coming. I'm in love with the Quacklin. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick pr preview and I'll do a flip through for them. Um, so it's a storybook. I know I'm going back to front, but you've got... Um, just look. Take care, Sue. Hey, hi, Fliss. Thank you so much. Um, I absolutely love this. I'm in love with this. So it's a story and the story is by Wendy Edelson and Aaron Shepherd is... Um, or is it the other way around? One of them illustrates, one of them um, does the story. I think they are adorable. And they're grayscale. They're quite thin paper. But if I can make the Bennett clients work, we'll make this work. So I really want to do like a, an upload with these um, and test things out. Um, and then you've got the Sea King, which is quite old-fashioned. He's the, ah, there we go. Here's the author, and is it, who's the one of this? Jenny Spirin is the artist, and Aaron Shepherd is the um, it, the writer of the story. Thank you. So this has got colour in it. Um, let's just show that one. Okay. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, very scenic. This one's got a very old feel to it. This one, oh, I, just, I love it. Um, so we're going to do that. I've also got Alina Lazareva's Victorian book coming. So I need to do a little review and a colour in that. So we're going to have to start doing some uploads and get some things done. Right. Faith, are you still here? <laughs> are you still here, girl? Let's go for it. So we have got some poskers that Faith always wants to see the posk. <laughs> How many you've got? Okay, so Posca pens. She's got, oh, nice. I love the crack pens. Okay, so Posca's coming, as I've said. I've got a whole Posca stream if you want to go and have a look. I love my Posca pens. I use them quite a lot. So they come in different sizes and nibs. Um, and this is the ones that I've got, and my obviously my white and black, so I'm not going to worry too much. Um, so you've got black. Oh, my green. And um, my white ones. Okay, right. So this is Poskas, if anyone was, <laughs> anyone wanted to know about them. So I'll give you a little rundown of them. I use Poskas. I usually get them on Colt pens. Colt pens have usually three for two or they're, they're super cheap. Hi. <laughs> so, I'm so happy to be back, honestly. So Posca pens is an acrylic paint pen and they come in different, like you've got different colour groups and I keep these in my cart next to me because I use them on pretty much everything especially say you were doing like um you've got a feather and you've got 
the you know the feather bits coming down and you um, want to you know start adding in your shading and you've got your feather I'm just doing this right roughly so you got your feather right and you want to build up on that but you want to make this your focal point and you do your shading around a posca is a good way to come in and add like the details kind of thing and then you know keep going with your poscas i love poscas and they're so versatile and then it can come in with like a different one of a different you know nib and bring in more and you just build up they're so good and you've got different nib sizes um i'm just doing it on the side because we've got a piece of rough paper but your pencil would have done all the shading and you know in between and then you're going to bring in more you know just build up um so you've got different and this is a thick nib so if you come in with this one that's going to overtake because it's a lot thicker so you've got thick lines uh you've got medium lines You've got very fine lines and you've got even finer lines with the 0 0.7. So they're very, they go from different thicknesses. I get mine on cult pens, um, but it's entirely up to you where you can get them in quite a lot of places. But say you were doing stuff, you can add details, you know, in with your Poscas all the time. That's what I tend to do. Um, so they come in different colours, like this one, you can get them, I've got a Japanese set as well, light greens, dark blues, metallics, you've got metallic range, um, give them a good shake, they always need a good shake um, to get the pen activated, like really juicy, otherwise the nib doesn't show it, um, and it's harder to get, so you've got all different sizes, these are thicker, these are more pastel tones, um, and then you've obviously got your standard like what you need um your reds your blues your blacks your whites is essential i absolutely love the beiges as well because it's just like an eggshell color so many different tones um you can use them for so many things they're so versatile so yeah poscas are great i love them as you can see i love them <laughs> i have collected these over a long time people say to me about them and i'm like i do i you got to go, that's okay, take care, thanks Rochelle for coming. So Poscas are versatile, you can use them in all your colour bits, they're so good. You can use them for mini backgrounds, but just beware, when you're doing a background with them, there is a felt end, and they tend to rip your paper if you go over it. So I wouldn't recommend them for backgrounds, I recommend them more for detailing. But I've collected my collection for about three or four years, and I buy them in like three for two when they're on offer, but... I've got my collection now. I don't need to add any more. The only ones that I tend to buy quite frequently, as we all do, is the whites. And I've got the whites in different um, nibs because different nibs for different things. So I have got the 3, the 1, and 0 0.7. And they are all the white nibs. Let me turn that down a little bit. So it is entirely up to you. I have tried the huge one. I've got a huge black one for um, something else. So I think it's like or something along those lines um i've got a huge huge nib it's a chisel tip but the smaller ones are more versatile for what you're using in your kind of it so as you can see i've got quite a few and i keep them in my cart and let's quickly try out the pit pen colors because we've got those in um we've got those in the prime day sale yesterday so, yeah, you can see I do love my costumes. Love them. So they're in my cart beside me because I use them. I've got them in my uh, rolling cart of happiness. It's glitter. It goes everywhere. Doesn't it? Right, let's quickly have a look. Right. So let's... Let's just roll that over. Right, so in the Prime Day style, I grabbed these pit pen sets. Now, they are great. Again, I don't use them for block sort of colouring, like, you know, blocking out stuff. 
I use them more adding into with my pencils. Let's take these off for a minute because I can't stand them in plastic. Okay, so they come in this set. This is a pastel set and this is like just normal tones. And the thing with pit pens is that they are like a little mini brush felt. And they've got India ink in them. Now, they're really nice. They go from, like, a very fine detail to thicker. You can, you know, they're versatile, really. They don't bleed through. They're really, really nice. So they are a brush nib. And these are sort of the colours, a brighter palette. This is black. Um, chromium green. So, in thick they're really nice colors they don't blend very well I've well look I've not found they do they're all right I wouldn't say they're amazing for blending Copics are the best so let's go over again uh, see I, I wouldn't say they're great for blending I think someone else said the same thing they tend to rip your paper because uh, they're just like wet if that makes sense they're not like they're not like alcohol markers, and they haven't bled through. No, they don't bleed through, but they don't blend very well. So I don't use them for blending. I use them. Sal's going to do an area, and I've put my green because I want the green. I'll come in then with my you know my pencil and start shading in and start going over with that and blending over with pencils. I would do that over blending two of these together. I wouldn't say they're, they're more for detail or even brush lettering. If you're doing brush, brush lettering, I think they're really good because they've got a thick to thin nib. So yeah, I wouldn't say they're really good with a blend personally. I don't know many people that have actually blended them. So you can just see the colors. We're just doing them on here. Yeah, I like them. That's why I bought them. I just don't like them to blend out. And I do blend my Copics, you know, as you've seen on streams. I know I kind of, markers aren't my go-to, but I do know how to use them. But they just, to me, these don't blend. Yeah. See, they're really nice for brush lettering, I think, more. So they're really nice colours, aren't they? We're just doing a quick swatch. So I'll use them in colour books for sure, but I won't use them on their own. Okay, so this is more next ones are oh, the pastel tones. So these are going to be a lot lighter. So these, so as you can see, are super light. very pastel so they're true to what they say in terms of light colors yeah they don't blend much do you have you tried them with water um face have you tried using them on a palette with a bit of water and see what they do they're really nice for brush lettering though i'm thinking that now I'm thinking they will really do well with brush lettering. That's more skin tone. <clears throat> They're nice colours though. I like the colours. See, those two in hindsight should blend and they probably won't. Yeah. They're nice colours though. So I'm glad I got them because I will use them. I do use everything. Um... It just takes me time to get around to the stuff. Okay, see, these are lovely, but I wouldn't say they blend. Those two should blend really well, but they're not. Let's have a go. The green should blend. Hold on, fine, so hold on. I'm going to keep them in there. For, I'm going to get a little mini pen. I've got a pencil case for them. Let's have a look. Let's see if that will blend into that really well. No, they don't blend, and they should, those two, in hindsight. They just rip the paper. Nope, don't like them for blending at all. I'm still here. <laughs> I do not like them for blending. Um, I would say a huge thumb, huge thumbs down 
um, to those blending, but they are nice colours. And if you're going to use them additional to stuff, I'd say that that's a nice thing. I just, the colours are lovely. Um, so they're two sets. And one was like, they were from £25 to um, £10. One was nine, one was ten. I thought that was a steal. I just got to get that clean. Yeah, I thought that was a really steal. That was a good steal. So those are the Poscas. Those are the pits. Um, love the colours. I think there's a good big thumbs up there. Now, do you want me to put a vote out again for the next picture? Or should I just go ahead with the nocturnes? Because I'm going to have to leave everybody in a moment because me and I just got to go out because time is pushing and I've been on three hours now um, and we've finished our fox page so I'm going to put that but I really fancy doing my nocturnes gal with the Derwent light fast but we finished this today for anyone that missed it <clears throat> yeah I think the most overall vote do you want me to show you the picture that we're going to be doing I love the pirate girl let me grab it. I'll show you what we're going to be doing. And I'll have to work on a conversion chart, but I won't do that till it'll probably ne next week. Well, most likely. It won't be this week. There's too much going on this week. Let me find that. Where did I put that? I always put things away where well, they should be. <laughs> Uh, not, um, okay. So, the page that I was referring to, if anybody, it will be a colour along. Um, it's not turned by Anastasia Ellie Colderiva, and it will be Pirate Girl. Hold on. So, I did this one. I still got, I'm debating a background because she's got like a glow that I've done coming down the face. There's a glow on, all these are glows. Um, I don't know if that'll pick it up. And that was the Derwent Light Fast to make like a texture. But we always have a little bit of trouble with this paper. Oh, I've got to try that. I've got to try that. So tip to tip, I'm going to try that one. Okay, so the page that I adore, well, I love them all, the page that I'm really really steering towards is a pirate girl it's this one i love it oh do you do tip to tip and they bend out is that on all papers hold on so you tip to tip it So, hold on. Do you just rub it on the top of it, the darker colour? It's not really. Sorry, is this the way to do it? I'm just checking. Sorry, everyone. Oh, yeah. And then it goes lighter and lighter and lighter. Ah. Okay, right. Thank you. <laughs> that has worked. So it goes from a dark to a light. Okay, tip to tip. Thank you so much for that. I will now be using that in my book. Try pink and a blue. Should we try it? Hold on. Look at my paper. This is why I have paper. It's so good to do this. <laughs> okay, so thank you, Michelle. Which ones? Touch tip and colour with it. Yeah. Um, try pink, pink to blue. So put the pink on the light blue, right? So it's what we're going to try. Hold on. So pink to blue. Hold on. Let's try it. See, the chameleons, they're, oh my gosh, they're a breed of their own. And then if you want to rub it off, and then come back. Ah, oh, that's so good. Oh, I'm going to be having fun now. Hold on. So I can do that with the brush letter in as well when I finally get the hang of that. 
So you could do it to that as well. So a blue to a pink. That is like a chameleon. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to be playing that. I did not know. You are like saviors. I never knew that. Look at that. That's like magic. Wow. Yes, it's amazing. <gasps> right, shall we try this one? This is um, orange to yellow. Sorry, everyone. I've sidetracked this big time, but we have learned something new. Um, so let's come over here. So it goes, that is amazing. And then if you wanted to add any like additional, you can. That's great. No, I haven't got the Karen. No, I haven't. That is, you You are like the best ever. Thank you so much. I did not know that. I'm going to be having fun now. So anyone that's buying the pits, you now know that they are like chameleons and they change colours if you do tip to tip that is such a great tip thank you so much no I did not know that <laughs> I did not know that you could do that like where have I been I've been living in dinosaur ages I'm pretty sure um I'm like always the last to know everything it's fine I am genuinely am I'm the last to know so I will always be the one that will find out last on anything. That is amazing. Thank you so much. I know it's like having, it's like I bought them and I was happy with them anyway. And now it's like I've got a complete new thing to play with. They are now like gold. I did not know that. They are like gold dust now. Thank you so much for letting me know that. That is amazing. I've got to try them in colouring. <laughs> okay, so on Saturday, I was really, really hoping to get to this with the Derwents. They're India ink. Mm, I've seen them in a completely different light. So I'm thinking this one, and it will be with pencils. It'll be the Derwent Light Fasts. Um, I'm going to have to try and figure out um, what colours will match because I'm I've not used them in a picture entirely yet. So it's gonna be great. Yes, yeah, India ink. So that is it for today. So that is what we've done. That is what we're gonna be doing. And um, we also got to somehow fit a stream in with um the colorist special effects three with the bees and the honeycomb. We've got to fit something in to do with these books as well. And Alina Lazareva, I'm going to do a flip through and upload when that comes. And um, so we've got quite a lot to be getting on with. And I have been, I have been itching to get doing and cracking on with stuff. So I'm so happy. And thank you so much for um, everything, all of you, for being patient. For those of you that have been chatting to me anyway, because I've got my friends are here and they know what's been going on. And we talk all the time. So you know who you are. You're all amazing. I love you very, very much and dearly. And to Lou, who's not here, our moderator Lou, um, thoughts are to her because of her beautiful little doggy Gizzy. Um, so, yeah, I've done that today. I'm rusty again, so bear with me. I'm so rusty on streaming. I need to get back into the swing of things. So thank you so much, everyone. I am so happy to be back with you. Oh, thank you, Pat. <clears throat> um I, I always have fun I always have fun I actually it's like it is just natural if that makes sense it feels like it's something that I should be doing because <laughs> I love the hobby so much but yeah it's just like a natural pull to want to do it if that if that makes sense doesn't it yeah okay thank you so much I've missed you all too, but I am back. <laughs> as long as no one goes and gets ill on me again, I'm back. Um, thank you. It's been lovely having you all, genuinely. So I'll see you on Saturday at my usual slot time, um, 
I don't think I'll be on. If I'm on any early, you'll see me. Yes, a whip is done. We didn't keep the whip going. <laughs> Daria, thanks for being my pickle. <laughs> yes, I'll talk to you shortly. I just got, I have got a pop as well as on early. Yes, coffee, go drink it by the gallon. Lots of love, everyone. And I will see you Saturday for those of you that are here. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Take care.